y'all? How y'all doing? We are live back with another episode. I suppose to have me a nice little sandwich uh, eating today, and they deliver my food at the wrong place. So shout out to Uber Eats for giving me a nice little refund and some, some, some. So, so we are live, live. I want to give a shout out to our producer that delivered me this Tommy Hilfiger items. Um. Uh, Gave me two boxes of this package really well. You spent the money to buy the shirts and to ship it to my P.O. box. I greatly appreciate you, sis. Not, you know, I love you. I have your information. Uh, I'm going to start in today. When people send me something, I will be sending you a thank you letter. So if this is your correct uh, information, I will be sending you a, a, a handwritten thank you letter for that. So starting today. And this day four, if I have an address from you, I will send you a thank you letter. Okay. So we're going to definitely start that uh, starting from today. Okay. Uh, uh, so we have that. We will send her, uh, her a thank you letter for that because she spent a nice little coin of shirts that she brought me. Uh, shout out to all the producers that give me stuff. And some of y'all will be thanking y'all in person because I'll be seeing y'all this Saturday. Uh, we'll be meeting the subscribers this Saturday. Uh, I think about five or six of y'all. So you make sure y'all come through. If one person comes through, that's fine. I'm doing this for the Dallas meet and greet. Uh, we go into a restaurant, uh, a fried chicken place. They got chicken, fish, shrimp. We go in there supporting their black business. We're going to be doing it again. Uh, we're going to pick another black business as well, but we're doing it there first. Uh, for our first meet and greet, but of course, I'm going to do other things for the people that's actually in here in Dallas. Now, uh, most of y'all have already RSVP for that. Many of y'all have RSVP for the Vegas. Uh, you still got time because if that don't start in, until October, we're still looking forward to uh, for the, the, the concert. So we will have the information for the party bus in the month of March. We just wait to see how many people are coming. So we can we can divide it evenly so people can come uh, to the party bus so we can have enough people that is there. So please, when we send you that information, you know, you have to if you got two people with you, you have to pay for those two people. So it could be fair. You have to tell them, don't don't just show up to the party bus. You got six people and you only pay for yourself because those other five six or six people won't be able to get in. OK, so make sure of that. So we will definitely uh, send you the information in March. Uh, I want to thank everybody that voted uh, for us, continue to vote for us. We were nominated for an award uh, for uh, best YouTube channel. And I've just, you know, a lot of y'all have been voting. I will be campaigning in my home um, state um, in Chicago. I got a lot of people say they're going to vote for me. Uh, I want to make sure they vote uh, for me. So we'll be campaigning in Chicago, voting uh, for me for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year. Uh, and I will be in Atlanta. Even if I don't win, I will be shaking hands and shaking hands with the uh, nominees and the people that are there. Uh, this is my first appearance at the Bulls Babe Awards that I've done. Every time I've been nominated for an award, the last time we were nominated a couple of years, about a year or two ago in Dallas, we showed up to that award show. So we will have that same type of courtesy to the Bulls Babe Awards. Okay. So we will be in attendance. It's a good promo. It's good. It's good to be around people, networking, and meeting different type of talent, uh, other up and coming YouTubers. So we will be in uh, in Atlanta, uh, and all the ticket information is on the site. If you vote it, you will see the information uh, 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 on there. So we will definitely talk about all of that. It's definitely coming on. You all you got to do is. Uh, you know, buy your ticket if you're coming to the war show because I will be there uh, as well. And I also will be walking uh, the red carpet. All right. So make sure you vote on all your devices. Get your families, get your friends, get their phone. Make sure you vote, vote, vote. Um, vote for us for best YouTube. You have to vote in every category. So make sure you vote, vote, vote. OK. All right. So make sure you vote, vote, vote. But it only works if you live in America. It's only U.S. based only. All right. 
Um, so continue to vote. If you have not vote, vote. Uh, vote on all your devices as well. Uh, most of y'all have family. Vote on a device. Get your husband phone. Vote on his as well. Get your boyfriend. Get your side piece. Vote. Get the crackhead to vote on the Wally Show. Because we definitely want to win this award. <sighs> Let's get into the commentary. All right. Uh, because this is not going to be a long, lengthy show. Glorilla. I'm the F E A. Okay. So, Glorilla, I believe she was in Oakland. And that is Yo Gotti. You know, that's his artist. And the promoter been upset at Glorilla because a video went viral. It was supposed to be a performance, they say, but Glorilla said it was just a walkthrough. Now, she did not perform. She showed up to the venue and just walked through and everything like that. Someone threw some water or liquor at her, and then Glorilla said she wanted to slap her, but she would have slapped her if she, if, if she didn't have to get sued or something like that. And I want to say this to... Uh, to Glorilla, and also to the promoter. And I believe the promoter. And let me tell you why I believe him. Because he released a contract. In the contract, it said a performance. And Yo Gotti tried to act like, oh, no, we, we're we not paying. They can't just charge those $30,000, bruh. $30,000 is a booking fee for Glorilla, all right? She ain't worth those three, four, dollars $500,000 for a performance. She's not there. She's still a new artist. So I believe that she uh, was supposed to perform for that 30K. I don't believe he gave her 30K just for a walkthrough. I believe she's supposed to uh, perform her hit record, one or two songs or something. And that's enough for 30K. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice little coin. And I get why Yo Gotti is coming out here trying to defend his artist. But your artist did something very tacky. She didn't perform. And if that contract is 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 real, then she should do what is obligated to her on her contract. But a lot of artists they play in these black promoters' face, right? They play in their face, and they play in their face, and they act get amnesia. But you got to do the right thing in business. Now, uh, if it's true of what that promoter said, if it is true that that promoter. Uh, booked her uh, for for a performance, okay? I believe he didn't lie. He was shocked because it went viral. The reason why we made it go viral is because somebody threw water at Glorilla and they recorded it and they sent it to the blogs and the blogs reposted it, okay? Glorilla absolutely, uh, she had a concert for the club. So it's not about if she had a concert for the club. If the agreement is you to perform at the after show and still perform a song, then do that. It is what it is. OK, for thirty thousand dollars, you better get up there and do something. And that's one thing I like about Look Kim when I went to go see her many moons ago in the club. It was packed like sardines. Um, she performed one or two tracks off her mixtape, one or two, three songs on her mixtape. And it was wall to wall. And she performed a couple of songs. So come on, Glorella, get it together. Uh, and. It's not right for the fans to spit at her. It's not right. That's not cool. And I hope that fan get arrested and charges be pressed against them because you can't disrespect an artist. You may be angry, but don't put out your bodily fluids at somebody. No, don't. Okay. And so if you have a contract that you're supposed to perform, I, I was a promoter at one point. Uh, I booked a talent. We was at the Jeffrey Pub. We had a show for um, for Jacquez. We It was like Jacquez performing. We had different artists. And I wanted to do something for LGBT artists. We're going to do that again, probably in Chicago or in Dallas. But we had an event for LGBT artists. And so I booked as this group. It was the only group I paid because they brought a band. And I said, I want you to perform. I love you, bro. So we 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 didn't even have a contract. It was just he brought his band. I paid him the money. We shook hands in the restroom <laughs> and his band and they performed. And it was an incredible performance. And then from that idea, the Jeffrey Pub, they started doing live music at the Jeffrey Pub because of my idea. The reason why I stopped being a promoter, these club owners is a little shysty. 
they would double charge. I would charge at the door and then they would try to recharge people before they get to my people. And I didn't like that. So if I do another event, I'm going to get my own. I'm going to have to work with a better owner. You know what I'm saying? To have the law because they, they was they're a little tricky in what they were doing. So back in my heyday, I used to be a promoter and I used to have throwing events. I threw like four events. I threw one for Jacquez's party, birthday party. I did, we did another event for LGBT artists and we did something else. And that's what we have to do. And I didn't have contracts at the time. It was just them coming on to the show, uh, coming to the venue. I paid them their money. We do a handshake. They perform. That's how I've always done business. But now I'm much bigger now. And I it's gonna everything gonna be on contract because you would get artists like Glorilla would just gonna walk out and stuff like that, even though the pr promoter is not gonna sue because it's Glorilla got attorneys, it's very pricey. And he, they're just like, hey, you know what? I already got my money. We just gonna blame it on Glorilla and we just gonna move on to the next event. I'm a fan of Glorilla, but she, this ain't the first time that she done dirty business. Glorilla been accused of not paying her choreographer. She was accused of not paying this woman to help her for her choreography. One of the one of her hot records, the choreographer came with the little dance that she was doing on award shows and everything like that. And the woman went on a whole, went to the media and said, I wasn't paid by Gorilla. So Gorilla, you got to get a scatter. And this is the same trifling heifer that wanted people to be her assistant for 15 bucks an hour. And the list of items she wanted people to do was out this world for 15 bucks an hour. And I believe it was 15. Got mad and said, this is a good uh, opportunity. Sis, that's slavery. You want me to do all of this? Come on. And then she said something illegal. I prefer you not have any children. You can't say that. And, 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 and disqualify somebody for having children. That is a violation of, of that. That is a, you, you broke a law of an equal opportunity. You, you broke, you broke a law and you could be sued for that. So you got to be careful with that. Now, I believe that, you know, if you are doing this assistant work for, you know, somebody like Orwella, it will open up doors for you to work with other celebrities. But I'm saying at least pay that assistant 20 bucks an hour. And that's a good for a college student, for somebody starting off, 20 bucks an hour. Uh, it, you know, that's nice piece of salary to be somebody assistant. And, you know, when you're an assistant, you pretty much on call a lot. Call in the middle of the night, call for last minute changes, booking the car service, doing all that stuff. I would love to do it because I think that would give me an entertainment business. But I, I'm so busy doing my show, I don't have time to really connect and book and worry about Glorella. All right. But I am happy that we are having that uh uh opportunity this conversation about Glorella because again she is uh an amazing rapper. I think that Glorella has what it takes to be on the level of Cardi B to be in a conversation of Cardi because she's likable um, I believe she can be in that to be a mainstream, a mega artist uh, on there. I just hope that they continue to produce records and not be lazy and treat her like Erica Banks uh, because Erica was hot and her label did not know how to build on that momentum. So I hope that Yo Gotti learn, you know, continue to build on Glorilla's success. She need another hot record. By the summertime, she needs to be dropping a new record in a couple of months, uh, building that up, uh, but continue to build that momentum. We are now in the space where we the, the market is use of you dropping three, four, five songs now. Uh, I was watching a Prince documentary like last night, and Prince wanted to drop two albums at a time. He wanted to drop eight, nine records. And they said, we don't have enough infrastructure. Our marketing team is can't keep up with all of the all of this product. But now we in 2023 and now the fans once you release an album they want a new album. Once you release it they want a new single. And so if this not good for Glorilla don't take this opportunity and then you just go away 
because it's going to be another girl going to come for your spot. And I can see Glorilla get into acting. Like she reminds me of the lady like that played uh, Wendy, is that her name, that played in the game in the Steve Harvey show. She could play her daughter. She can make a coin. She got the face to be in acting. She got she could play a special ed student, special ed teacher, a detective, uh, an assistant, a CEO, a boss. It's many other things that she could be doing uh, as well because it, it would be great. So I can definitely see it. So hopefully Yo Gotti got her in acting classes and to definitely get her uh, in some acting classes because this is the time because you got Megan, she's down right now she you know you got Nicki Minaj she either pregnant or chasing you know, making sure her man ain't violating no other woman against his will against her <laughs> against her will and then you got Cardi B ain't really ready to come out she too busy gossiping with a gay man about her husband and all eat, eating burritos and tacos and stuff like that so she ain't really out here uh uh and drinking margaritas she ain't really out here delivering no content. She's so depressed and so hurt. She don't leave her babies, but then she left her babies to do an interview with Jason Lee. So I'm not understanding that. So this is the time for you, Glorilla, to take over. This is the time. Now is the time for you to continue to deliver content. And Erica Banks, she's somewhere eating pies and cakes and B Buffalo Wild Wings. So this is your moment. And Yo Gotti do a good job by her. I know you eating the uh, uh, Angela Simmons box and you love her, but don't get too caught up in that yoni that you forget about your artist, Glorilla. Make sure she has what it takes to be on the level of a Nikki, Cardi, Megan in that type of space. I don't think Glorilla right now can outwrap Nikki. No. But I do believe she could be in the space of being a contender of coming for that crown. Thank you. Now, would I would have been pissed if Glorilla was supposed to perform and y'all build it like that and she didn't perform? I would have been angry. And I, I would have went on my platform and I would have dragged her. I would have dragged her and said, no way, Glorilla, you do business like this. Okay? So that's how that feels. So let me move on, because I'm a fan of Glorilla. I'm just not a fan of the ghetto, tacky ways I don't want to pay people. I'm not a fan of that. Fan of your music, not a fan of that personality. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Thank you. All right. So she need another single. Get it together, Glorilla. I'm in your corner. I'm the voice of female rap. Uh, I don't kiss butt with these female rappers. Uh, some of them follow me. Some of them don't. Some of them you have me blocked. But I will always keep it real when it comes to female rappers. And Glorilla is something special about me. Some, something special about you and me. All right. Uh, and I will continue to talk about you and deliver content about you because you're relevant. And then once I stop talking about you, then you're no longer relevant. Okay? And you're beautiful, by the way. And I know you, young guy, he hit that. But the way you're touching on him, I know he, he, you know, he hit that. I can just see it in his face. Mm, you hit that, bro. Don't lie to me. Her neighbors know my name. Trey Songz is, and you know what? I I'm just so tired. I don't know if Trey Songz tried to buy BET or Zeus, but it's somebody that do not like Trey Songz. Let me see if I can uh, read this. That was on the blogs. And before I went live, this popped up. My producer said, oh, my gosh, you got to cover this. They're talking about your guy, Trey Songs." So shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. Uh, they said, neighbors, Trey Songs has been hit with another SA lawsuit after his last one was dismissed in November. According to Rolling Stone, Jane Doe is filing another $25 million lawsuit 
against the singer. This time she added some defendants to the case. The lawsuit filed in Los Angeles on th today is linked to a S battery lawsuit filed by Jane Doe last February against the 38 year old uh, Trey Songs over claims he uh, he did something, the woman doing a party, I'm going to keep it clean for you two, in March 2016, and a statement given to Rolling Stone, uh, Jane Doe attorney George called out Atlantic Records, who signed uh, Trey Song in the early 2000s, as well as uh, Trey Song's manager. Uh, I think it's Lee Lies and 300, the label he co-founded, were effectively turning a blind eye to the growing number of accusations against the singer throughout the years. Uh, this case is much more than one singer and one um, viciously ab abused as a survivor who has the courage to take action, uh, her attorney states. It is also very much about uh, systemic S abuse in the music industry. In the music industry, complicity in silencing S abuser survivors. It's virtually impossible to believe that those executives are not and were not aware of the in uh, institutionalized S abuse. Jane Doe Nul also, also named Atlantic Records and also Trey Song management team and 300 Entertainment label as defendants, arguing that by continuing to have a rec relationship with Trey Song's overseas career, they're responsible in some matter for Trey Song's behavior. This is why I noticed a bunch of bull crap. This woman have no case. The case was dismissed. Now she's refouling it and using a court to harass Trey Song's. This is a disgruntled woman that wanted to be with a superstar it didn't really work out and now she wanted to use him to sue him this is the same type of woman that have text messages going forward with trey songs and tried to date him and all of these type of things and this is why i feel as though i don't believe that trey songs did this to this particular woman her case was dropped previously and now she's refouling it and bringing in uh, uh, the label and all of this for more media attention because she wanted to do everything it takes to be in the same presence with Trey Songs. Now, Trey Songs have to move differently because once you become successful, uh, you 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 always have to have witnesses. You have to have them sign NDAs. Make sure you have cameras everywhere to protect yourself. And if you want to sh uh, show uh, <laughs> show your royal oaks, make sure you have some type of cameras to protect you and have them sign a release form that we're going to document this, take this and everything like this. So we can, it can cover you and it will cover me because you have to be careful out here in these streets. Trey Songz is 38 years old. He's an attractive man. He's a superstar and you will get people that want to try to take him down. Now, I don't believe that Trey Song did this with this woman. Now, if other cases come, I'm going to look at those cases. But with this particular Jane Doe, she's trash. And I don't believe that that Jane Doe uh, uh, have any evidence or proof. Even the police, they don't even, uh, their investigation, I think, was closed. I think I don't think like that. It, that. it never came about with that. She just won a coin. All right. So, Trey, take this moment, come back to the studio, release some comments. I mean, release some, how about to say condoms? Release some content, release the content, and continue to release the content. I would love for you to release the content because your voice matters. I remember he did a record. How many more times? Do we have to go through this? It was y'all know the record he did. How many more times? It was a good record that Trey Songs wrote, and I don't know if he wrote the record, but it was an amazing uh, delivery about police and about being an activist and about police brutality. It was a great record. So I hope that Trey Songs get his act together, and we will continue to see how this goes into that particular case with Trey Songs. I 
again, I'm a fan of Trey Songs, and if another case run across my desk, I will look at the case d- diligently with my team, and we will come to a conclusion whether we believe him or not. But this particular case, this is Jane Doe, and I know a lot of people they bring up Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer was not violated with by Trey Songs. Kiki Palmer, again, she said what she said. She it was no crime being committed. She did not press any charges. She said what she said on the Breakfast Club. We would dive into that on another day. Uh, and now Kiki Prime is knocked up by an unknown actor, brother, and not even married. And now she's somewhere knocked up. And he, he you know what I'm saying? And she's going to wind up leaving him, not even married and all that, because she really wanted a man. And she shouldn't have might as well have had Trey Songs. At least he got the bag. And now she got a scrub that she's taking care of. And she's going to have to buy everything when she had to. The baby shower, she had to buy her the supplies and the design because the man ain't got no money. He's a he's a scrub. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So we will continue with it. And I don't believe it. Trey Songs is too attractive to be accused of that crime with Jane Doe. You don't have to take something. And, and we will continue to look at this matter, and I will continue to look at it with my team. And like I said, if another case come up, we will look at all cases. In this particular case, even the lawyer that tried to sue Trey Songs got caught up in some mess because she tried to pressure Trey to, to get some money out of it, and it was some illegal stuff that attorney was doing, and she got exposed for it, and then she went on Tasha K, tried to drag Trey Songs on, and it didn't work. And now this Jane Doe got a whole nother attorney because the attorney she had was nothing but a troll and, and all was obsessive and semi breaking the law allegedly. And they don't, and she no longer represent Jane Doe. Okay. Jane Doe got another lawyer. Okay. So we will continue to. Do our diligent research with my team. All right. And in any case that come in court, because I'll always say this in this particular case with Jane Doe, I don't believe it. Uh, and stuff like that. I don't I don't like when people say Jane Doe. Give me a name, give me a face so we can research this person. Cause I don't like when they say Jane Doe. I need to know who this person is. Uh, so we can look in their eyes and, and look at their spirit and their soul. I don't like it when they say Jane Doe. I want to be able to look in your soul. Okay. I don't like the Jane Doe type of thing. I believe if you have any type of allegations, you should not have to hide on into Jane Doe. You should come out out with your name and we should be able to see it. Okay. All right. So we will continue to do this in more cases that are coming. We will continue to continue to look at each case. And I just don't believe Jane Doe. And we were going to continue to do more research. I know the police is no longer investigating this matter. I think he was cleared on the criminal side. Now this woman wants some money and all of that. But I, I want to do more research on this, on this Jane Doe. But until we get that name, I can't do it. So make sure y'all give me that name about Jane Doe, if y'all can find her, so we can do some research. Now, Trey is not paying me to do this. I just want to do research on my own, legally, all right? Okay? We will continue to do our research on the matter concerning Trey Songs. We will continue to do it, and we came up with this because they just dropped this on the blogs. And I said, okay, I have to talk about this. It's the same person that came against them and her case was dismissed the last year. And now she's back and trying to add Trey Songs with a new lawyer and also uh, with his label. They have not dropped him because I believe they done an internal investigation as well. And they felt like it was no wrongdoing done. All right, so we will continue to keep y'all updated on the matter because Trey Songs. Is a good man. He is talented. And I don't believe he took the yoni of Jane Doe. Don't believe it. 
I believe Jane Doe wants some cash off of a superstar. So I'm going to continue to do my research on the matter because in every case, I talk with my team and we are going to continue to do our research because in his lyrics, I want to break it down real quick. It was something in my spirit. Something in my spirit. One of his hot records. Soon as we get start making love, going hard, I hear a knock, knock, knocking on the wall. As soon as I go deep, Getting it in, then again, there is a knock, knock, knocking on the wall. Girl, your legs keep shaking, and I swear, we breaking our new headboard, headboard, and the love we make, it feels so good. Girl, you know you proud, looking in your lovely face. Screaming my name, you do it so loud. I bet the neighbors know my name. When you screaming and scratching and yelling, bet the neighbors know my name. They be stressing while we're sexing, but the neighbors know my name. My name, my name, I bet the neighbors know my name. My, my, my. Take this pillow right here, grab this. And I know you so excited if you bite it, if they won't hear. And you know just what we're capable of when we're making love. So when the music going to be loud, you're going to scream and shout, girl, your body, a problem. They call me a problem solver. Let the phone sit on the charger. It could ring all night. They can call. They can knock and be upset. But I bet, I bet the neighbors know my name. The way you're screaming and scratching and yelling. But the neighbors know my name. They be stressing while we're sexing. But the neighbors know my name. My name, my name, my name. I bet the neighbors know my name. My, my, my. While we banging on your body. They be banging on our wall. While they be dreaming, you be screaming. Now they're banging on our door. Sometimes he called me Trey. Sometimes she said Tremaine. When it's all said and done, back the neighbors know my name. Sometimes she called me Triggers because I make her body bust. They might think my name is oh shit. I make her cuss. I bet the neighbors know my name. Where you screaming and scratching and yelling? I bet the neighbors know my name. They be stressing while we're sexing. I bet the neighbors know my name, my name. I bet the neighbors know my name. But when, but the neighbors know my name. I bet the neighbors know my name. The way you're screaming and scratching and yelling. But the neighbors know my name. And they be stressing while we're sexing. But the neighbors know my name, my name. I bet the neighbors know my name. My, my, my. And so hearing that message, the neighbors know his name. Trey Songs, you have a name that is attached to wealth and you are an ATM. So be careful putting your peen and scratching and loving and sexing with all of these women because you may get one that want a coin by any means necessary. Please, sir, be careful and watch on who you insert yourself with. Be careful how you lick and laugh and make her yell and scream and shout. 
Be careful, my brother, and that's for anybody with success because you are attached to wealth. And I say that to Brother Wiley, myself, hallelujah. And I'm saying it to every brother that is out there. Be careful when you are wealthy, when you have money and all of that. You got to move another way. Because you is a bank card to women. So be very careful. And if Trey Songs, if I find out you violated Jane Doe, I will cease all my support and I will delete you from my Apple Music and my Spotify and my title and I will throw out all of your albums, all of the vinyls I bought, all of the t-shirts, all of the draws with your face on it. I'm going to throw it all away because I cannot sit and support a person that love to snatch Yoni. Take it without her consent. So if I find out, sir, you love to take it against women's will. I will cease all of my support and I will be on the front lines that Atlantic Records drop you and that you lose support and that I will stand there with those victims and make sure they get justice. So please, sir, don't lie to me and manipulate me because though you are attractive, that doesn't mean a hill of beans if you're taking yoni from women without their permission. That is sick. That is demonic. And I do believe that the United States Congress, the Senate, the courts need to put y'all in the same box with the M words. Uh, all that y'all need to be on the DP list. What is the DP list? When in, you get the electric chair, you need to be on the DP list. If you violate a woman or a man against their will, you should be on the DP list and your time should be limited on earth. No way that you should be walking and eating three meals in a cot and you took a woman's innocence and her body or a man. You don't need a prison sentence and you spending the taxpayer dollars for 30, 40 years. You need to be on the DP list. What is the DP list? What do people go when they get their last meal? DP list. R. Kelly need to be on the DP list. Larry Reed. He said he a doctor. But I believe that brother snatched the cookies of Levantre. He need to be on the DP list. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the DP list? <laughs> One day, y'all, again, we're talking about the DP list. <laughs> oh, our radio show. All right. Okay. And I do a lot of them because it's, I'm going to move on because uh, we in communication with Trey Songs people. So I don't want to mess up the interview. Hope I did a good job. Hope I did a good job, Kathy. Hope I did a good job, Kathy. Don't look at the video, but I've been communicating a long time to get Trey Songs on the show. All right. Let me move on. I don't want to mess up that bag. I do want to interview him. And I, I, I've always, hey, we're going to ask the tough. Questions. Because I don't play. 
with people that love to snatch cookies. No. Now, I believe you believe in role play. That's a difference because two consenting adults is role playing. But if you take and snatch a woman's cookies, you don't deserve to continue to be on this planet. Don't deserve it. I'm going to ask the tough questions. That is why Larry Reed has been dodging our team. We've been emailing, texting, calling, no response because he know we're going to ask the tough questions. So he befriend YouTubers with a blue yelly mic and they snatched the cord out of that didn't work. And now you got Star looking like he working at Burger King. I guess he went to the store and bought himself a new equipment looking like he working at Burger King and ready to take somebody's order. What the hell are you doing with all the money that you have been getting and then you going to buy you a headset like you ready to call a football game? Sir? When I looked at you, I didn't know if I wanted to order a three-piece or a two-piece spicy in a biscuit. What are you doing? And brother, I'm going to put this picture in my picture up really quickly. I told him we going to get right. We're going to get right into it. Put our picture up there. We look like brothers. Anyway, you supposed to be friends with Storm and Armand, you embraced him in a hug. You touched his neck. Why didn't you, Armand, whisper in Storm's show, bruh, let me teach you how to hook up that equipment? Storm, what are you doing? You went from having a bachelor's degree and a social worker from choking your meat. You went for having a bachelor's working at the post office, getting clicks and views, and went to choking your nipples and your meat. And neglecting your major platform by not giving them good quality content. Stroking it. It is really nice, by the way. Stroking that meat. I mean, he was stroking it. Y'all send it to me. <laughs> I don't even have to subscribe. I get the videos instantly to my DM. Playing Anita Baker, stroking it. And went from having a blue Yeti to a call center mic. Hello, yes, welcome to the store show. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. How y'all doing? We're here, take my order. Do you want a two feet, three feet, two, two double cheeseburgers? We are live, thanks y'all subscribe. What the world is going on? Thank you, Peaches, for the la da da Then you go to Armand, you was in LA. You, sir, should have said, okay, let me not go meet the superstars Let's take a trip, Armand, <clears throat> before we go and meet Kevin Gates. Let me take you to my office space and give you the 411 of the equipment because Armand, though me and him don't see eye to eye, that brother got the best quality on the internet up there with Tasha K and others. That brother got a camera in the ceiling. And it's got a right there, and he can press the button. He can press the button. Press the button and different cameras come up. Press the button and press his song. That's money. Uh, what other the song he come up with? Uh, I don't know all of the record. And press the button, and the record just started playing. Good quality. Microphones, good quality. Different positions the camera can go. When he read cards, you can see the cards on the camera. Different angles. 
but you go to Story Monroe with 255,000 subscribers. He there taking somebody Burger King headset, and that's his quality. All right? And this ain't about sharing a secret. Storm got the capital. I don't know if he spent it all, but you could pay people to come there and hook some cameras up in that house. It's like he got lazy. Got real lazy. Who goes for a blue Yeti to Burger King? All right. So, Armand, my brother, went live. I'm doing my show on station here. So, my 30 people, we get about 30 people on our station. 30 people, sometimes 40. But this time was really low. I was like, damn, where are my people at? So, everybody said, Armand is live. He said you can play his content. He's going in on Brother Michael. Now, Brother Michael is his friend on YouTube that he dropped. So, listen to these names. Brother Michael. All right. Thank you, Blue Skies. In our mind, we're friends. They came on the internet. They known each other for seventh grade. And so now Armand Wiggins did a show on his station head. And he said, I want to make sure we get the title right tonight. I want each other, we want to make sure we get the title right tonight. Let's go. I want to make sure I get that title right tonight on the show that he did. I want to get the title right tonight. We're talking about Brother Michael. That is a YouTuber that repeats himself and to get 50 people on the panel. Armand said, let's talk about real friends. So he talking about Brother Michael because Sister Tasha went to Brother Michael's show and trashed Armand. Said, look how he done you. Look how he done you. He, he ain't your real friend. You got other people on the channel from the talking to this person to that person trashing our mind. I knew then, Brother Michael, you took a page out of my playbook and you listened to that email. Because in an email that I sent him, I said, if you're not going to diss our mind, allow your audience to do it. And keep your hands clean. And you sit there like you always do. Great. Act done. You already a little touch. So just act done. Just, just sit there and let them just trash them. You was given a window. And I say use it. And you listen. I am a producer at heart. So if I know how to produce some drama. So I emailed that guy. I said, you've been given a great opportunity. You better ride it because you have something I don't. Thank you, Ash, for that super sticker. Because you have a relationship that go way back when y'all was in the seventh grade eating uh, 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 burnt hot, hot dogs and, and hamburger meat and playing with each other, Peter Pecker, when y'all was in the seventh grade. So you have an in-depth knowledge of our mind before he was famous. That is your ticket. You need to cash it in. So I knew that our mind was extremely upset at Brother Michael because Brother Michael teamed up with, with, with uh, uh, Jason. Then Brother Michael teamed up with Nick at night. Brother Michael teamed up with Jack Wright. Right. And now I'm finally hearing what went on with a breakdown. I knew that we was going to get some type of tea regarding it. I didn't really listen to Brother Michael because, Brother Michael, you have to sit through a five-hour show with other people that ain't the host. Because, Brother Michael, what Brother Michael don't have, he can't sit on a show by himself and deliver the content. Brother Michael, you need your family supporters to take over the show because you don't have the stamina, the talent, the will to deliver the content by yourself. You are lost by yourself. You need Tasha K to hit that link. You need your audience to hit that link. 
to boost your head up. You are in the same boat as Brother Storm. Both of y'all is weak. Now, Brother Michael, Armand talking. My name get mentioned. See, you hanging out with Jad Rock, hanging out with the B-Set, the YouTubers. They don't like me. Tasha, they don't like me. You let her trash me. And all that is given widely. I need y'all to type in the chat, it's given widely. I need y'all to type in the chat, is given widely. I need y'all to type in the chat, is given widely. Armand saw an opportunity to dress me by name. He accused brother Michael of giving Wiley. And then he said, I don't care if Wiley's in my chat. Me and Wiley was never friends. I like brother Michael. But it's giving Wiley. So why is it that you're saying it's given Wiley and painting this picture that I'm the cause of you and Brother Michael falling out? Brother Michael saw through your narcissistic ways that you want friends to kiss your butt and kiss that pink bikini that you wear and to bow down to you. And Brother Michael finally woke up and said, you ain't helping me with my platform. You ain't bringing me on the boys chat. You ain't doing that. You ain't introduced to the audience. When I was on another season of Chasing the Light in LA, you didn't interview the cast and bring me on there. So I have to do what is best for Brother Michael. So I'm going to go over there to Brother Jason Lee. I'm going over there to be a superstar in the beef sector. I'm going to befriend Nikki at night in her pink panties and her pajamas that she said. And I'm going to dance with Neek all night long. But Brother Armand said, I called him and said, Neek moving funny. Why are you hanging out with Neek? I got to do what's best for my channel. Jaguar Wright. Why are you hanging out with Jaguar Wright and going to that? I'm just doing it to help my channel, build my channel, build my channel. I'm just doing it to help build my channel. Okay, period, period, okay. I'm just doing it to build my channel. I'm just doing it to build my channel. So, Brother Michael and Armand a couple of months ago, <clears throat> Armand spoke about Brother Michael saying his friends is not on YouTube. His friends is not friends with Jaguar Wright. His friends is not friends with, with, with Tasha K. He don't have YouTube with as friends. That was a couple of months ago. Thank you, Michelle, for that super sticker. Keep sending it, but I'll see you in money. She said, enjoying the show. So they're having this conversation. And he said, it's given Wiley. That's something that Wiley did. He flipped on me. He interviewed this person. Every person that I've interviewed, even the lady that pretended like she was dead and lied, half was crying over, she faked her death. I, every person I interviewed, we never trashed our mind. Our mind feel is dope. That if I fall out with these people, you must fall out with them as well. That to me is sick, twisted, a mentality. Just because you fell out with these people don't mean that I should fall out with them as well. I don't care if we've known each other for seventh grade. I'm in the same business. My business relationship shouldn't have to crumble because you, sir, can't get along with Brother Jason. You, sir, can't get along with Sister Jaguar Wright. You, sir, can't get along with people in the big sector. So you mean to tell me, Armand, with that type of spirit that you want Brother Michael to in his relationships because you don't get along with these people and that it's given widely because you don't get along with these people i have to fall out with them too no that's your problem now i can understand if brother michael was trashing you now I see Brother Michael feel some type of way that you had Brother Storm on the show. But Armand told Brother Michael to trash Storm. Brother Michael didn't understand that that was only for a season. Stop dragging him because we made up. But Brother Michael is in it. He loved trashing him. He's built his platform trashing. People come to him, try. He couldn't even stop. 
So Brother Michael felt like Brother Armand should have mentioned Brother Michael's name to Storm and all of that. And I knew that wasn't going to happen because he have always put you in a box that you're not my, you're not in there with the good girls because when he did the boys chat, you was not on there. Every time your name was mentioned, he did not bring you on there because those group of friends is the group of friends he like. You were just a childhood friend. Y'all just been around each other, known each other, living the same type of neighborhood, known each other for years. But his real good, good, good girlfriends is the people that he was in them pink bikini panties with and those people he went out of town with, those people he went to the club with. Those are the people he liked because that helps his image and his brand. He don't like you, Brother Michael, because you're bad for his brand and his mind. All right. So Brother Wiley will continue to do what Brother Wiley does. And I my job is to de deliver content. Now, we did call Armand Wiggins today uh, on my show. We uh, we called him earlier today. He did not answer. Uh, I could have called him on other numbers. He didn't answer. He know I'm live. He watching. He continue to do that. Thank you so very much. He continue to watch. He's watching. So he might as well hit the link. Let's have a conversation. Brother Michael, you can hit the link. And Brother Armand, we can have a show and y'all can come together and talk. Since I'm in it, let's all talk about it. Brother Michael, you at a crossroad. Either you're going to drag and build that platform and lose your friend, which you will never be your friend like that. Or you apologize and lose the support in the momentum that you're gaining. So the ball is in your court. I know you can't deliver the content by yourself. I understand that. So get your goons, your, your people with no cameras, or not on camera, and drag or not. And that beef will continue. You will get to your 30, your 40, your 50, your 60,000. Because when you beef, you are attached to our mind. He known you since the seventh grade. When his face was half frozen, he was living with you. When 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 the whole chase of L.A. Now, I didn't know this, Brother Michael. You didn't tell me this, Brother Michael. Or mine was dropping some stuff. He said when your channel was uh, striked by uh, another YouTuber, Armand paid for a cold to get your channel back. You didn't share that part. And you also didn't share the part that Brother Armand told you, Brother Michael, to come on YouTube. You didn't share that part either. So if you're willing to lose that support and if you feel that right, brother, do what's best for you and do what's best for your platform. You know how to move in this business a little bit better than Armand because Armand get emotional. He trashed Jason and he regret trashing Jason, but he don't want to share that. You trashed that man. You shouldn't have ever did it. Now, at the moment when it happened, I'm like, oh, okay. Now, as the dust settled, maybe you shouldn't did it. Maybe you shouldn't. Because that brother is interviewing Lala, interviewing the other guy, interviewing all, getting millions of views. Maybe you shouldn't diss them. And you regret dissing them because it made you look crazy. Now, when it comes to Neek, you made up with Neek. So don't use Neek as an example because you made up with her. Now, when it comes to Jack or Wright, Jaguar Wright is a hot topic, and that's going to help Brother Michael because he needs those people to build him. He can't do it like you did it by your talent alone because he just don't have that type of talent. He was on Chase, Chase LA. That didn't accumulate to subscribers. He had the same type of numbers. It took him to be messy to drag or to drag you or mine and to bring Jaguar to allow Tasha to drag you and all of these type of things. And then you work for yourself, Brother Michael, because you said, oh, my God, the girls are mad that Tasha can't hear. I'm not one of those girls. You mean to tell me Armand is mad? Put a name on that. Because I'm not mad. Tasha K been on my channel a lot of times. I don't have to kiss her butt to get her on the channel because it's just the content. If she come on the channel or not, we still going to have clicks and views. I have a huge audience tonight, just me talking. And if she come out, that would be great. If she don't, who cares? Tasha K, she used to be the all, all, be all back in the day. I don't look at that like that no more. You can put me and Tasha on the same stage. <laughs> I would get the most laughs. Okay? That's why she didn't want to sit in my presence. 
So get her on the show so she can just trash her mind. But she will stop coming on that show if you will make up with her mind. That's the only reason why she's on your show. She's using you and you okay to being used because you need that YouTube monetization check high because you live in LA because they didn't pay you in chasing LA. Yes, you did chase LA. Yes, you moved to LA, but they didn't pay you. You did that for free. Free. Introduced to people acting ignorant for free. And it didn't even come and develop into your viewership on YouTube. It took you to go back and to Armand, Tasha, Wiley. Why not Chase in LA? Why not Jeremy? Why not this person? But it didn't develop into clicks and views. So you back in the gutter and you have to drag your little friend that you've known since seventh grade. You moved to LA. For free. And now you stuck there because you won't chase LA. And then you tried to use the UN, you know, Brother Michael and Armand, y'all. Oh, yeah, you made it before Wiley. Like, I knew it wasn't going to work because it's hurting your pockets. You did it for free. It didn't translate to subscribers and viewership. My appearance alone on Chasing Dallas or Atlanta will translate to more subscribers, and they have done that. So if I were to be on Chase in Dallas, instantly I will get more subscribers because I would know how to use that in translation of more of an audience. I need to see. That guy got a YouTube channel, and I'm going to be on it. You, sir, don't have that. It ain't clicking for you. You had a, you was around a master in this business or not. He is a master in this business. He had mastered a formula and he got a black car. He got a business account. He's in a high rise. You in an apartment with a roommate and the roommate, I guess, went to jail. So now you look for another roommate. <clears throat> Hair products ain't selling. And you didn't learn a formula from our mind. Now, Brother Michael, I have to say this. Let's take notes, Brother Michael. I know you're watching, okay? You should have listened to our mind and took notes and learned from him. Learn his formula. Did it your own way. Did a couple of training sessions. So Armand did help you, but his audience didn't care nothing about you. You were dry bones sitting by the side of Armand Wiggins. Dry as ever. You kept repeating yourself. Maybe you need to write down your delivery because everything you just repeat yourself over and over. You used to do it a lot, over and over, period. Oh, Repeating yourself over and over, that gets boring. And that audience didn't follow you. But if Brother Wiley sit beside our mind and they see my personality that challenge his opinion on others, instantly ratings through the roof. You, sir, and got that. You have to have trolls on your panel to drag Armand for content because you don't have the knowledge or the understanding to do it on your own. Without them, you are a nobody. And so, Brother Michael, you did what you did, and Tasha going to use you, and since she can't use you no more, <clears throat> and you in that box. And all you talk about is Storm. See, you can't compare me with you. We talk about Armand, Storm, Tasha, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, politics. I interview gay artists, gay porn stars, black women, business. It's so, it's so much content that we talk about. I just don't talk about brother or mine. But when I talk about it, it hits because my content is the best when we talk about brother or mine. And he knows that. That's why he don't say my name on YouTube. That's why he don't post my name in the title. Because he know Wiley is coming up. 
And he's the only one that can go toe to toe with me. And he won't say my name. He's watching in his studio with his cameras. Cameras up there. He saw us restreaming videos. Now he's posting pre-recorded videos. Thank you, Carmen, for the uh for the 999 super sticker. Okay. And for all the people that's in the chat, I want to say this. For saying, did Wiley take his medicine? Let me let me say something because I just got I just got my refill, another refill. I don't care if I never take the medicine. I'm still entertaining. Is there a law that say you have to take the medicine? No. There is no law that is in the docket 3, 305.3, section 3, section 5. That don't exist. I don't have to take it if I don't want to. I'm still entertaining. And they said, Wally, slow down. You're getting cocky. No, I ain't cocky. I'm talented and gifted. And if you can't deal with that, leave and go join a man that got 15 people on the panel. I'm talented and gifted. And if you call that cocky, then so what? Eat it and fry it in the frying pan. Don't allow my confidence to provoke your insecurities. I have a gift. I'm cock-eyed and gifted. Cock-eyed and gifted. So if you think I'm cocky, keep watching. You ain't seen nothing yet. Talented. So of course I'm tooting my own horn. Of course I'm patting myself on the back if I can reach my back. Of course I'm giving myself a round of applause. Wally, 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 Wally. You must be your best cheerleader. Cock and cock eye. Now, Armand did say I was disabled. I disagree because we tried multiple times to get on disability and got denied. We went all the way with lawyers and everything appeals got denied. So they denied me. They said, you're good enough to do YouTube. You ain't disabled. So didn't get the check. And if I would have got approved, I would have probably got about 10000 12000 in back payments. Because whenever you start, I think we start doing the pandemic and we got denied. We applied again, got denied again. So if I would have got approved, I, they would have went all the way back to when we applied back in 2019, 2020. And I got denied. So according to the federal government, I am disabled. Now, I may look disabled, cockeyed, bipolar, walk with a limp, but according to the government, I still can work. Hell, I was disabled. And he said I was a psycho. So, that's what the brother said. Now to brother Michael and brother Armand, keep beefing, drag each other, because that helps my bottom line. Brother Michael, go live, get 50 people on that panel to drag Armand, because that helps my bottom line. One man's beef is another man's treasure. So keep beefing. I'm going to fry it up and deliver content. Now, we're going to open up the phone lines.
and we're going to allow y'all to call in. Thank you to the supporters that are here. Thank you to my executive producers for subscribing. We had an amazing members only. <laughs> Make sure y'all go subscribe and check it out on our Patreon. I call y'all the executive producers. Thank you to my people that send me books and Bluetooth speakers and all type of stuff. Thank you. Y'all know who y'all are. I got so many books and most of the books is by the producers that support our channel and sent us books to read. Thank you. Okay. It's given Wiley. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what that man said. He said it's given Wiley. <laughs> Blame me for their downfall. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know that man in real life. <laughs> and my name get bitching. It's giving Wiley. I'm like, what? I'll come in the chat because we don't have each other blocked on stationary because over there we 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 welcome each other's presence. He listened to me, I listened to him. So this particular time I came into the chat and his people was dragging me in the chat. And I didn't care. I was just here and uh 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 something like that. He said he said that brother Michael is in the Wiley Club. He said, brother, he said, brother Michael is in the Wiley Club. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh, brother Michael, you over here that they kicked you out of the, 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 the popular kid table. You over here at the table when we eat t-shirts, eat tissue for dinner. Over here, you eat tissues and eat our snot and boogers and eat our wax and, and talk to the, the white walls and in the padded room. You all here in the Wiley Club, so just come on, brother. Don't worry if you're sweaty. Just come on over here. You can be sweaty. Blow your nose like we do in our socks and T-shirts. So come on over. You ain't got to take a shower for about five weeks, six weeks. No, we don't take showers over here. We don't take showers over here, so come on. Come on over here. Don't take a shower for about five weeks. So come on over here. We welcome you. We put some chicken in the air fryer and don't clean it. Just put some little lemon pepper and season and salt. So come on over here. Just come on over here to the Wiley table. Then he, all right, he kicks you off the table. He kicks you off the public here. Don't worry about brushing your teeth. Don't even brush it. Let it be deep yellow. <laughs> Come on over here. Because you know it's pretty soon, Brother Sean about to drop you like a bad head because he love him some Armand. So they about to kick you up out the, the kingdom. So come on over here. We'll welcome you. Come on. Bro, we welcome you. I need to blow my nose right now. Hold on, let me get my sock and my, my shirt. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. I gotta blow my nose right now. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay. Um, give me a second here. We're gonna open up the phone lines. I don't know if y'all want to call in or not. <laughs> And then we'll drop the link. Now, I'll only bring you on StreamYard if you show yourself on camera. So give me a second. So I will drop the link if you show yourself on camera, okay? Now, some of y'all putting y'all stuff on the box because y'all ain't going to be able to call over here no more because y'all call over there with Brother Michael, all right? So if you strong, call over here, you know. Uh, also, we're going to put the number on the screen as well. So give me a second. I love our mind. And give me a second before we get to the phone lines. Because I do love that brother. I really do. I love him. I love that brother. And I believe 
I don't know if he loved me. I don't know his heart. I can only speak for myself. I love him. I love talking about him. And I only think about him when I do YouTube. In my personal life, I don't mention him. Uh, he's a great, you know, entertaining guy. And I've always said he had what it takes to go to the next level in this YouTube space. He had what it takes to go to the next level. Now, I want to bring, uh, let me see, where's Larry Reed picture? Because someone told me that he is going to sue Tasha. That they're talk that is gonna so we should begin to update uh pretty soon. Now that's not Larry. Okay, this is the one with Larry in the middle. All right, that he, that she he's gonna sue Tasha Cat. Um, that he's just gonna do it. Uh, because he's not down down, his views have been dropping, so he says he's going he's he's gonna do it. So once he file it, we're gonna go live um and talk about it. I already got the lawyer on speed down. He filed it in the state of Florida. We will get that info if he filed in the federal court. We will get that info as well. Uh, so we will bring it to you. Or we believe he says he's going to sue Levantre. He's going to sue Tasha. He's not going to sue me at all. Uh, <laughs> they said it won't be no need because according to my sources and my legal team, we didn't break any laws. It would be a waste of the court's time. Um, he uh, is going to sue Tasha and Levantre. And when he do it, ching, ching. That's going to be some good clicks and views. So whenever we do it, we're going to bring it to y'all live in color. Uh, we already know Larry Reed going through a lot. He, he he put the hat, he turned the hat to the side and trying to look like a game banger, trying to, trying to be all funny, trying to distract us. And it just, that stench is on him. It is on him hard. All right. So we will continue to uh, talk about it and drive it. Okay. And we will continue to do it because our ratings have been through the roof. Thank you. Thank you. So whenever they file whenever they uh file it, and I can't wait. And he said he's gonna be faster from social media. You should have been faster from dealing with underage boys, and that should have been the fast of getting getting delivered and getting counseling and not uh and, 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 and to deal with underage, got somebody your same age. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should have. You should have did counseling the fast and repent of that and say, Saints, pray for me. I got weird thoughts. I need deliverance. That's what you should have been fasting from, delivering from all that. But now you want to fast from social media. Bro, get up out of here with that crap. Because your press conference didn't hit. Our mom's supposed to be defending you, but he's in a beef with Brother Michael. Storm can't defend you because he's trying to become a new Burger King manager with his Burger King set. You have no good allies. The only one you have is the one with the pink wig, and he can't even defend you great. Okay? He ain't going to be fast for too long for social media. That's his moneymaker. All right. Thank you so very much. Uh, let's open up these phone lines, 972-674-9462. If you got anything that to say, we ask you, yeah, please do not use profanity, and please come on the show being professional and talk about nicknames only if you can. If you do a slip-up, that is fine, uh, because I understand some of y'all got to slip up. Uh, thank you all so very much. Uh, the phone lines is open. I don't know if it's working, but this is the time if you want to call in. This is the icing on the cake if the viewers to call in. I do understand that when the broadcast in, I get phone calls. I don't understand it. If it's a delay or something, let it be known. This is the time that you all can call in uh, if you have something to say. And that is the number on the screen. All right. Hold on. Hey, welcome to the Wally Show. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, go ahead. Hey, I want to say this, this. You have to win that award. This is the best show on YouTube. Yes. When I, I, I do you, you made me laugh from you started to now. Like, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> I love your commentary. It's one of the best. Yeah. And you, like you said, you don't need a co-host. I don't need You don't need other people on the panel. Absolutely. You, Stand your ground. 
is the Wally Show. It's your show. Yes. People want to see you, not 50 other people. Absolutely. It's me. Facts. I want to read Amon. Amon is late. He's supposed to be PR for Larry Reed, like you say it. He's beefing with Michael. <laughs> but I want to say, why beef with Michael now when Michael helped make you in the beginning stages when they used to do the radio thing on his, his channel before? It was Michael that was sitting next to you. Mm hmm. I mean, he was boring then, and he's boring now. But he was the idea. He was he he helped. Yes, I, and he I agree. Should help him. Amon should help him. Like he should have helped you. Absolutely, I think with with with, with 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 brother Michael, he was around Armand a lot. What he should have been doing is taking, taking notes. ego and taking notes. If that was me, many people don't know this, Armand and myself, we were in conversations of me moving to L.A. I was actually going to move in L.A. before Armand, some part of the California, not too far from L.A. And uh, we were gonna, I would have learned and studied the, the equipment part because I got the entertainment part, the equipment part. You there. You understand what I'm saying? And... Uh -huh. I think that a brother Michael didn't want to listen because he's hard headed, and I've been knowing this for years because our mind said he's been trying to give him ideas. He don't want to listen, girl. He just don't want to listen. So you have always been a hard headed man. He thought he think he know he's to do best. I think he would have gotten further with Armand's assistance, but he didn't take advantage of Armand's assistance. I think that he saw my formula trashing our mind and he took that and he's going to use that and it's going to go further for him because he, got, he have more history than our mind more yeah, stories more he got more inside scoop on our mind so of course it's going to go further uh people are starving we the people are feeling we the people want everything yeah that would make Channel grow. Absolutely. You're listen to Absolutely. Michael. And see, when I moved to, uh, if I would move to California, I would have been a CNA working in the hospital. I had a job. They would, they was gonna offer me twenty six dollars an hour. So I would have had a job plus my YouTube career. So I'm not just gonna go and not work and have a YouTube career. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I, it would, it would have worked. It would have worked for me. I'm not going to go just to do a show for free. No, I'd have been there working, working in the hospital, making $20, $27. And you know, they pay CNAs really good in California. Then plus the YouTube show, I can survive in California. I'm not just going to go there for no free show. Not going to. Exactly. And don't know how to use that vehicle of that free show. And Brother Michael, and he's suffering financially because it did not give him the payday that he thought it was going to give because he didn't know how to monetize that. Now, I could give him some good ideas with Brother Michael if you need a consultation, Brother Book me. Because he didn't, he didn't do it right. He just didn't do it right. And he's still not doing it right. Absolutely. Because we don't want to hear about Amal Wiggins 50 years from now. It's piping hot now. It's, it's, we want it now. Absolutely. He's we, talking about we, you. He's shaming you. So shame him back. Okay. There you go. Because if, if, if it was the other way around, of course Amon would shade you. Like, come on, make That's... it hot. And <laughs> can I just say one thing about about Michael? Yeah. Michael, you need a makeover. Michael, you need a makeover. Your channel, you have to do something so the people would tune in. There's no way that you have Jaguar on your platform days and days and days. And it's boring. And stop begging 50,000 times. Yeah. It's a video. Absolutely. It's a big time off. I, 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 I agree with you on that. The begging part. You know what I'm saying? And... I let, let it be genuine. Yes, it, it should be genuine. Like at the end, that's when you make your announcements. If you want to contribute to the platform, they'll contribute. And then you don't have to make 
they're gonna give freely. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Icon. What'd you say? It can be in the beginning. It can be in the middle, and it can be at the end, but not every five minutes. Not every That's five annoying. minutes. I, I, it, it's, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very annoying. It's very annoying uh, because people will give. Like they will give. Sometimes they will give cash out, so they will give what money or the checks or whatever the case may be, clothes or whatever the case is. They will give. And your gift will make room. You ain't got to beg to move. Your gift will make room. That's why I have to leave Bingo, Molly. I have to leave Bingo because it was just <laughs> begging. I was begging on Bingo. They can't beg it. Ah! <laughs> 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 and be messy. But I do want to agree with you with, with, with Larry Reed. Mm -hmm. If he sues Tasha, we the people want to see that. Absolutely. Because it makes you look guilty if you don't sue Tasha. Preach. Because if you sue Devil, you, you sue. have to sue Tasha because Devil said the same. He did the same thing. It's just that he showed, I mean, Tasha showed the victim. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's just I, 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 I agree. <laughs> Thank you. The icon. Thank you so much. I don't know if he coming to Vegas so y'all can finally put a face to the icon. Uh, you know, I don't want my face out there like that, but I don't know. I might, I, I might do a fly and fly out. Okay. Well, I want you to have a good time. Uh, and then if you don't come there, you can just be my connect for New York when I do something in New York. But I do want to see you in Vegas if you want to come. Because I think Icon does a lot of stuff in the industry and the business and stuff. He just don't want to show us. <laughs> he, 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 he's a <laughs> Icon been the supporter of the show for years. So we love us uh, Icon over here. My number one show. Yes, I love you. And, I, and, and I'm you. Not and then I have to be in the bushes. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. You're definitely my number one. Yes, thank you, Icon. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't no wait. Problem. We definitely going to, uh, definitely, I can't wait to link up with you and see you in person. Thank you, brother. Definitely. All right, bye-bye. Totally. Okay, now we got one caller in here. I want to make sure I bring them on if they answer. Uh, because they had called me twice. While I was on the phone with Icon. Hello, welcome to the Wally Show. Hello. Welcome. I'm so How are you doing, Wally? It's good to hear your voice. You called me twice, so you must have got something very important to say. Yeah, I do. What I got to say is this right here. Why are you trying to spin the narrative that our mind is blaming you for him and what may be expression? All that he all that he said all that he said was is that he was giving him wily vibes. He never asserted you. If anything, he would let it be known that you not even that important because he never met you and he don't deal with you. He just looked at you as a as a um as a soul. So I think you just try to push that narrative for whatever reason, because I guess it's in your favor, but you have absolutely nothing to do with that. And my thing is this right here. You telling him to go ahead and drag our mind. You always drag our mind. And how far has it gotten you? It, it, it hasn't gotten you far for real. So he will be crazy crazy to listen to that advice. If I were you, I would, me, myself, personally, I would still just try to be outside more and try to network. I'm not saying that way. Um, net, like, make some network with people. Versus me trying to be a troll and always dogging this man out because it's giving obsessive and it is giving like a mental issue at this point. Well, it's actually been given that the whole time, but it's like it is going way too far. And I don't see how that's helping you grow your platform, period. That's all I would like to say. Well, <laughs> I would like to say this to repeat of what you said. Uh, I totally disagree with you, my sister. Uh, we do this full time. Uh, we in a, uh, we paid our car off. We uh, paid all the debts that we owe to the state of Texas. Uh, we're traveling. Uh, we have two meet and greets planned this year. We were nominated for best YouTuber, uh, best YouTube channel uh, for the Boss Bay. We are a nominated channel. Uh, that just to name you what have it gotten me. So I just gave you a whole list of that. Uh, but when you say it's given widely, is you're alluding to the fact 
that I have something to do with the downfall with you and Brother Michael, and I don't. That, Why that don't even that. don't even bring don't even bring Brother Wiley into the conversation because that's between you and Brother Michael because y'all knew each other from the seventh grade. I didn't know that man in seventh seventh grade. I was in Perkin Bass Elementary School with my good, with my good friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. With my good friend, with my good, hold on, hold on, hold on. good friend Jamie and Rashad and all of my crew in Perkins Bass Elementary School. Shout out to my special ed, my special ed crew that I used to take. You know all that. I was in Perkin Bass Elementary School in Chicago. I didn't know what Brother that Michael. What I didn't about. know Armand Wiggins. Don't bring my name into your downfall with Brother Michael Armand. Leave my but name. Up up my name Hold on, sister. sister. Give me a second. I'm going to finish this last But you question. break up his name sister, every day, but it's easy for him to break up your sister, name. That's the sister, political. sister. Let me finish. Brother, brother, brother. Sister, you got to let me finish. You got your point, and I was silent once you had your argument. I'm giving my rebuttal. Reclaiming my time. Now, I will also say this, because Brother Armand said that Brother Michael asked him, is it okay that I link up with Jaguar and these other people? And Armand said, cool, do it. And then now our mind said, I didn't, I, I knew he was going to do this. He sh I, why would you want to have to ask me something like go and do it? No. Our mind, if brother Michael is asking you a question, is it okay? Would you feel some type of way? You tell him then that you feel some type of way. Don't wait until months later until he team up with Jason. Now you got, now you want to give out your grievances. You, sir, had the cast of the gentleman's panel on your show. So don't use that, that brother Michael was on that show when you, sir, brought that entire cast on your show and used that idea to develop the boys chat. Sir, you kept quiet. You should have spoke up to brother Michael then that you feel some type of way that you're moving funny, but you held on to it and now you want to use it, but you should have used it and cashed that in years and months ago when it first developed but you didn't do it. You bragged when Brother Michael was on the phone with Tasha and you said, Wally, you weren't on that phone. But now that Tasha took that and took your friend that you befriended, y'all cuddled up and done sleepovers and using your friend platform to trash you. Now you have to trash Brother Michael. But Brother Armand, aren't you still in a communication with Tasha K? And you still talk okay, to her? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Give me about one more minute, okay? Okay, go ahead. Were you on the same phone with Larry Reed and Tasha, and y'all was supposed to do a sit-down at Larry Reed house? So if you have these communications with Tasha and all of that, and then you allow Larry to send Tasha K. Uh, text message about how you said that he's more entertaining than Jason and blah, 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 blah. You had communication with Tasha, so why can't Brother Michael do the same thing? Okay. And Brother Armand, you said you made Jaguar relevant on YouTube. That's a lie. Jaguar was getting clicks and views with other platforms before she went viral on Storm. She was getting. She was. She was getting. was. was. She was. She was. She was. She was. She was. She was the one that did that. Like rightfully. She was getting clout all over these YouTube streets, all over the blogs, all over the blogs. All right. Okay. Go ahead, ma'am. You got. First of all, what I heard Amar say today. What I heard Amar say today is this right here: is that he been a behind the scenes told Mike how he felt about that. But the thing about it is how all this came up to our mind is because Mike had did a live last night stating that he didn't like the fact that our mind was hooking up with Storm and Roll or whatever the case may be. But the thing about it is, is that how could he get mad at our mind for up there and taking a pick with Storm and Roll when he set up there with, with going up to Jason Lee's um, gathering, he was hooking up with, with like you said, Jaguar Wright, Tasha K, and all of these things. So it's it's cool for Mike to sit there and have discrepancies with Armand dealing with Storm and Roe, but when 
where our mind bring it up. This is well as might be is a problem. Like it's like damn if you do, damn if you don't. Now our mind made it very clear when one of his callers had called in and was like, well maybe you should talk to him about it. And he was like, girl, you don't think I, I haven't did that? Of course I did that. He said that. And he also said there said he um told Mike that he don't care about him talking to Tasha K because shoot, he gotta get his money. This is an entertainment business. His thing was it was the fact that he didn't want his name to be brought up in, in him and Tasha K conversation. His problem with Mike was this right here. Why are you letting these people drag me on your show? That was the issue. The issue wasn't really with Mike up there dealing with these people. The issue really came in that that Mike was up there allowing these people to drag him and let Tasha K make um make claims on their friendship when he don't know Tasha K for mechanic K never see this woman a day in his life. That was the issue. So let's just speak that. You know what I mean? Because if you're saying that our mom had this issue with him dealing with this person, that person, well, guess what? Might be it too. Might be it too. And it was, like I said, when it comes down to you, it wasn't, he wasn't making it. Why would he make make you the issue with him and Mike's friendship? They don't deal with you. Like, come okay, on. I'll, you I'll, would understand I'll, what, you. what he Thank was you. doing was action. I, 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 I hear your point. I hear your point. I hear your point on there. Yeah. And I would say this both Brother Michael and Armand both was moving funny. One can call out another one's funny way because they both was moving funny. What I'm saying is, but would, right you, would you agree I mean, with that? Would you do you, you agree that both of them was? Do you agree with both of them moving funny? That. Do you agree with because both of them was moving funny? I mean, yeah, I mean, both of them was moving funny. We both can agree. Both of them was moving funny. But I don't feel like, see, if, okay, Amon got, what, 160,000 um, some subscribers, right? Why would he really be jealous of his friend? I never, I never, I never, I never, I never said that. that he, I he never, even, I, I, I never, I, 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 I never, I never said that Armand was jealous of Brother Michael. But yeah. I rebuttal to you that both of them, Brother Armand and Brother Michael both was moving funny. Both of them recanted their stands. They said they're not going to bring their drama to YouTube and fall out on YouTube. They have both recanted that stands and they have brought it to the YouTube streets. Once you bring it to the YouTube streets, then yes, it's giving it's Wiley right because Wiley is going to talk about it because it's public and my name was mentioned publicly on well, I this when I heard him say your name, I knew you was gonna make that contact. Of course, I I'm gonna make it contact. Why you. not? He said my name. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not knocking you for that. You know, I'm not knocking that. Make your money. You know he what said I mean? My like, name. Your business. Yeah. So I, I understand that part. My of thing course. is, I just wanted, the, I just wanted the, the the narrative that was being pushed. What I wanted it to be the fact of the matter, like what's really going on. You know what I mean? What's really, what's really, what's really, because, what's really, like, what's friends, really you know going what I mean? on? It's, it's is that us, two, but I know two how that friends, feels. two friends, one friend or mine fell out with all these people. The other friend, brother Michael, didn't fall out with him, and he still want to have these relationships. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. It's not. And Armand's argument is. If I don't mess with the ops, you can't mess with them. And if you want that type of friend, then sign up for a man Wiggins and sign that application. My type of friends, you have your life, I have my life. Yeah. I don't, I can't just, just because I don't get along with people, yeah, with that, I can't get along with them. Like, no, I don't live my life through my friend's life. My friend have his or her life. I have my life and I have my business to look forward to. So if you fall out with all these people, don't think that I'm going to follow all these people and mess up my business when you, sir, are mine and is in a better position financially than Brother Michael. Brother well, Michael. I'm going to be perfectly honest Brother with Michael, you. Brother Michael, hold like, on, hold on, hold on, man. Okay, thank you, man. Okay, thank you, man. Listen, listen for one second. If I, I had a chance to be seven Hold on, hold on. I got to put you on hold. Gotta put your hole, and I'm gonna give you about ten more seconds, because brother Michael is suffering and struggling. That's why he have to beg every three minutes for a super chat and cash app. 
You serve Brother Armand, it is in a better financial position. You're coming from a position of privilege. You and your boyfriend and them dogs is sitting in a house. <laughs> Brother Michael is on the come up, and he's not in the same financial position like you and your man and them dogs. <laughs> We're going to go because we had our mind PR person on. Let's move up. Hello, you got me on. You got, can you mute me in the back? I did. How, how are you doing tonight, Wiley? I'm doing wonderful. Go ahead, sister. I just want to say that this is very stupid. Um, I don't see how people can see that Armand is narcissistic. He has been bullying on the official campaign since forever. I remember looking at your show a couple of weeks ago, a while back. And you have been calling this out, calling it out, calling it out over and over again. You were even saying how scared he had of Fisher King Payne to even say something. You were even saying how, no, when you on YouTube and you do commentary, you have to go ahead and put stuff out there. And if that's going to get you clicks and views, that's going to get you clicks and views. He still did not say nothing about it. He still would not address Armand. He still wouldn't say nothing. I have been on King Pain panel plenty of days and his audience was singing Armand Wiggins' praises and he had to try to like sway the conversation of like, come on y'all, let's get back to topic. The one time he decides to address it, oh my God, he created a safe haven for people to dog me out on his channel. He created a safe house for people to come and out down on me and drag me. You see, at first I used to then believe like, oh, well, maybe he do have a reason people, you know, they be seeing him in these spaces, so they probably are a little jealous. But this whole thing right here, he just proved everybody right. I listen to you, I listen to him, and I listen to Official King Payne. I'm telling you, I've been on the panel plenty of times where people were singing our minds, praises and everything over there. The moment somebody says something bad about him, you want to sit here and say this man is hating on you, blah, blah, this and that. Armand Williams is a narcissist. He's wrong. And that's just the bottom line. But good night, um, Wiley. Thank I got to go. I agree. Thank you. Good news. Good news for me. Oh, my God. The girls are fighting. <laughs> They're fighting. Okay. Uh... Let me take this caller. I don't know if I'm calling the same caller back. Oh no, she called in private. She called in private. Hello, welcome to the Wally Show. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hey, welcome to the Wally Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that last caller. Uh, she was on point. But my thing is, is that Armand is lying to everybody. Because he's press, 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 press. It's okay when he does it, but it's a problem when everybody else does it. And my thing is, you talking to an audience full of people that you can't pick out in a lineup about a person that you cried with, that you broke bread with, that you probably slept in his bed, you probably did, you know, talked about some deep, darkest secrets, and you talking to them about him that's disrespectful altogether and my and, and the thing about it is for that girl to call and she's you know uh yelling out numbers obviously armand doesn't care about numbers because guess what he is on station head talking about people who have less than him and the thing and another thing nobody has to ask armand permission to talk to a jason lee to talk to whomever when Armand is not a good friend right now. He might have been in the past, but he left his friends to fend for himself. And this is a result. But oh but King Payne does not trash Armand. Armand sits back, he watches the Wiley show, he watches his friend, he gets mad, and then he goes behind on station head to talk to a bunch of people he does not know just to get his rocks off and to get his stress off. I agree. I agree. So my, 
Mm -hmm, no, 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 I, 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 I hear you. You know, you're so right. And and people that do not be on these other uh, stations, they don't know that it goes down over their own station head. Names are being dropped, and you don't see it on YouTube. They be getting down and dirty over their own station. I call station head like cable, late night cable, because like YouTube was more mainstream, like television. You don't know profanity. But Wiley, I'm totally different over there on Station Head. Uh, and Armand is different on Station Head. He name drops over there. And, and that's fine. But he has to be able to take the heat as well. And he needs to stop acting as if uh, you don't matter. And he needs to stop acting as if OKP doesn't matter. Because I don't care what platform you go on and talk about it. The fact is, is that you press because you got to talk about it. If you were unbothered, you wouldn't say a word. Mm -hmm. He was he was bothered and, with and, Jason. And, and another he was thing, all that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and another thing, KP is a better friend and a a better person than Armand is. Period. <laughs> so I I, 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 and it's going to get probably going to get more. You know, if the ball is in Brother Michael's court. Uh, will Brother Michael expose some deep, dark secrets about Armand because Armand shares some deep, dark secrets about him? I don't know, uh, because the general public don't know those deep, dark secrets about Brother Armand's secrets and what he used to do. Uh, so that's that's a card. I don't know if he's Brother Michael willing to push it like right now. Um, and I've even heard that uh, Jason is going to go on his show, uh, the air communications uh, for that, his, until his schedule link up, he's going to do that, and that's going to be a, a good power move, uh, a good look for Brother Michael's show, uh, because that's going to force Armand to talk more about Jason and also to be more disdain about Brother Michael. He really can't drag Brother Michael because Brother Michael knows some of his deep dark secrets. So right, right, you know. And I mean, the thing about it is, is that uh, OKP has talked about you know, the whole famous phone call and whatever, and he's trying to let each party know, look, you cannot trash talk this person when that person is not here. So let me go ahead and click that person in and, and remind them, I mean, remind you what you said about them. It's nothing wrong with that. But for him to act as if people are supposed to kiss his damn ring, he's out of his mind. Mm -hmm. He really is. <laughs> and and one more thing is not done. OKP is not going to uh he's not going to tell any deep I, dark secrets no, yet. Absolutely. Yet. He would have to push OKP to to like to the moon. Absolutely. Because that's the type of friend that he is. And then there's another thing. There was somebody in the comments talking about, well, Wiley is not a good friend. Uh, he wouldn't understand this uh, this type of relationship between Armand and OKP. And let me let you know something, honey. Wiley has said that he doesn't have any friends on YouTube, but he just buried his his good friend. Absolutely. So for you to come in here and talk. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead. For you to come in, in, in the comment section acting as if you know Wiley, obviously you don't. Facts. You know, because not saying that I won't have friends on YouTube at this very moment. I don't. I have, you know, relationship colleagues. I just don't call everybody my friends. Like Jacquez, that was a friend of mine. We shared great conversations and we fell out and no one knew that we fell out and then we rekindled uh, a couple of years back because it wasn't a YouTube friendship. That that was my genuine friend. He'd been in my house. I've been in his house. I met his family. You know, that's a friendship. You know what I'm saying? In this particular case, and he was also a YouTuber, but he was in his lane. I was in my lane, but I've always reached back to my friend and brought him to the Wally show. Uh, but mm -hmm. then he had complications in his health, and that's why you didn't really see him come on the show more and more and more. We have so many ideas of bringing, to, to about bringing him on the show. But I made sure when I went to Chicago during that time, I brought him on the show and then I collaborate and I went on his show as well. And he have always been supportive of me because he watched me when I was on station, um, not station, blog talk radio with me and him. We the only people on there. I said, we got three million people listening. It's just Jacquez and Q. Listen to the show. So that was the kind of friend that was there before the light, the cameras, before all of the, the, the popularity came. He was there when I was just wily, just in, in the house phone, just talking to me and him 
because I would say I got a million people uh, 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 listening to the show, and it would just be Jacquez in the audience. It would be myself. Um, and look how mm-hmm. far God has brought me uh, right now. So yeah, that's just how it happened. Uh, but to Brother Michael and Armand, hopefully one day they can talk online because a they did have a relationship. Uh, they need to take this offline because it can get quite ugly. And if it gets ugly, I want it to get ugly because it's good clicks and views myself. I don't care. You let it get ugly. Tell it all. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and and the other girl talking about, well, Wiley, that's not how he said it. Well, listen, this is Wiley's show. Absolutely. He can interpret it and he can present it however he wants to, whenever he wants to. So when you get your channel, you interpret it the best way. But you can't call here telling a man what he's supposed to do. And you probably didn't stand up. Bro, no, no. you know, of course you didn't stand. But that particular <laughs> call, every time people uh-huh. call me privately, she haven't done it lately. She used to call me in the morning, in the middle of the night. She would hear old mm. shows. And I would have dialogue with the woman. She can't do that with her mind. You know, I would get on yes. the phone and talk with the woman for hours and hours and hours. And most of the time, she's on mute, and I'm just cooking or vacuuming, whatever. And she's just talking about how she loves her mind. Different. Make him make me a moderator. And I said, I can't make him make you a moderator. So she wanted to be a moderator. I don't know if I'm a moderator. I'm going to send an email. Sister, send me a picture and your information. I'll let him. I tell them to make you a moderator. All right. And she's windmilling. She's windmilling for somebody that won't even allow her to have a wrench. Girl, go head <laughs> on somewhere. <laughs> bye, Wiley. Bye, bye. <laughs> I'm going to make sure she get that wrench. I'm going to make sure she get that wrench. Person, I want to make sure. This is the last call. Wow. 6 p.m. 11.06 p.m. on the West Coast. Please leave your... 8.06 over there on the West Coast. What time is it in the U.K.? Because I got some U.K. listeners. All right. So speaking about the U.K., I need some U.K. gossip. I was getting emailed that y'all want me to talk about some tea in the U.K. So I want some U.K. gossip. All right. So if you in the UK, uh, email me some UK shows that I should cover, some UK gossip in the UK, because I believe we're now sitting at 12 percent of my viewers are in the UK. I want to make it at 20 to 30 percent. So we're going to cater more to to the UK market as well. Uh, you got any stories in the UK? If you work in the palace, you got some gossip on the world, your family. Uh, it's 4 7 a.m. So y'all know y'all gonna catch the replay. Uh, email me. I'm sorry, that's my other email. Hold on, Hold on. let me give y'all the right email. You can email it there, that's fine. Uh, email me at the Wiley Show at gmail.com. If you work with King George, if you work in the kitchen, if you got some uh some gossip, of course, we would keep it all anonymous. You can email me at wileyshow at gmail.com. Any gossip, any tea in the UK that I should cover, email me at wileyshow at gmail.com because I think we're sending 11% of viewership of the UK market. And I want that to be, uh, by the end of the year, I want that to be 30 to 40% of UK viewership, okay? Uh, Started with y'all first. So any UK gossip, any UK shows, any UK stuff I need to watch, Email me and let me know. Send me articles so we can cover some stuff in the UK. And my email address is wileyshow at gmail.com. Okay? Wileyshow and gmail.com. You can email us that as well. All right? So we got some some tea that we want to do in the UK. All right? Uh, So if you got some gossip for that, definitely do that. If you're looking for advice, always we're going to do a segment. It's giving Wiley advice segment. You know, ask Wiley segment. You can email me at wileyshow@gmail.com. Okay. All right. <laughs> Little black boy 
Girl, you're beautiful. All right. We were nominated for an award. I got to do these quick church announcements here. We were nominated for an award. So I'm asking y'all all to vote. Please vote on your kids. Most of y'all got adult children. Most of y'all got kids with phones and Facebook pages and all of that. You must live in America. Please vote for us. Boss Bay YouTuber of the Year. And vote in every category so your vote can matter. Okay. We have people, she had all 12 members of her family voted for us. So make sure you all vote. Uh, that award show going to take place April the 30th, 2023. Uh, so we will definitely be in the bushes. I'm not the bush, we be in the building. Uh, and yes, we are definitely doing it. And we will be walking the red carpet. Okay. So yeah, make sure y'all vote, to vote, to vote is given widely. All right. Uh, are you single? I am single. Yes, I am. Uh, meet and greet in Las Vegas, October 6th through the 9th, 2023. Please, if you want to RSVP for that meet and greet, email me at wileyshowproductions at gmail.com. That is October 6th through the 9th, 2023. Email me at wileyshowproductions at gmail.com. Please put in the subject Las Vegas meet and greet so we can send you that information. In the month of March, we will be sending over uh, the amount you need to pay for the party bus if you want to participate. And we should have a concert that we're going to attend in October uh, to get the prices so we can get the tickets and everything like that. Okay. Uh, also, this Saturday, we will be meeting the Dallas subscribers. February 11, 2023, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Please meet me uh, there. I'm going to be taking pictures. We're going to be eating chicken. Uh, later that night... Uh, in the night, we're going to go to a happy hour, to a bar or something, and that would be it. So I will give you the address and information uh, at the email address, wileyshowproductions at gmail.com. That's February 11th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Looking forward to meeting y'all. Okay? Super excited. Okay? Um... Yes, yeah, only take two minutes to pick whoever plus Wally. Only take two minutes. So thank y'all so very much. Now, make sure I got all my notes that I wanted to talk about before we get up out of here. Before we get up out of here. Thank you. And I want to say, brothers and sisters, if your friend is meeting somebody that you don't like, please let them know that you disagree with that. Don't hold it. Keep it real with me. Keep it real with me. If you feel like you don't want me hanging out with your apps, keep it real and say, brother, I disagree with that. And if you meet up with her, I don't want to be your friend no more. Don't hold it. Real friends. Be honest with their friends. Okay? Communication is key. Communicate. Let it be known. Brother Michael, Brother Armand, come on over at the Wiley Show so I can have a conversation with y'all. Brothers, Thank you. This was an awesome show. Two hours of content. And I love you. Most, over 90% of the content featuring Wiley. <laughs> love you. And I support you. My viewers, love you. To the person that bought me all these clothes. Thank you, sister. Thank you. To the sister that bought me books and a Bluetooth speaker. Blue skies, thank you. Hallelujah. I needed a Bluetooth speaker. I love my testimony service about material stuff. I needed a Bluetooth speaker. And Blue Skies said, did you check your P.O. box? I was like, I'm going to check. I'm going to check. I'll check when I get it. Did you check your P.O. box? So I went to the P.O. box. And it was a Bluetooth speaker and books. She bought me some books and a Bluetooth speaker. 
And so now I'm going to listen to my political shows where I'm cleaning this body and on the toilet, I can listen to my favorite podcast on the blue two speaker. Thank you. I takes forever to check that PO box. Thank you, Quiet Storm, for your design, for your shirts and everything. We're going into business together. So send me another email. I told you I want to hire you for some work. You do this amazing work. We're going to make you rich. Ah, Right? I received that. You, you better shout right there. We're going to make you rich because you make some great designs. I'm gonna t- you work with me, you're going to be rich. We both going to be rich. You're going to be opening up plenty of stores all over America and across the world. God going to bless you, sister. You better stand up and shout right there. You better shout. You better get up there and shout and believe it. Put your hands up and say, I receive it. Put your hands up and say, I receive it. Say that right there. God going to bless you. That woman been sending me designs and cups and designs and shirts. God going to bless that woman and did it out of her heart. So we got to hire her for some design. She did it for free. Bless her right then, Lord. Give us some clients. Book her all over the world. Give her so much business. She had hired 50 employees, 100 employees, a million. Thank you, sister. Thank you. And I talked to her. Beautiful sister. Thank you. And she said she got to know I love Quiet Storm. Did it out of her heart. God going to bless you. And we're going to work with her. Get some clients for her. Don't come there if you broke. She ain't doing y'all nothing for free. Don't even ask her. Get your coins together. We got some new designs coming. And it's going to be designed by her. And I love her for that. And y'all about to get y'all refunds. We got t-shirts coming. I want y'all to buy it with y'all refunds. Some of y'all got your kids on your refund. Some of y'all get three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 refund check. And you, every person, let me put this requirement in here. No, 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 no. This is the money time. This offering time. We preach. Now we got to talk about money. When you get that refund, pay your bills, make sure your kids done, and make sure you send something to Wiley. I entertain you. My cash app should be $500, $800, $900. So many cases, two to $3,000. So once you take care of home, Pookie, Ray Ray, Shaquana Neal, pay your bills. You got a little cushion left. Make sure you get her and tie it over here to Wiley. All right? So, yes. Make sure you tie it over here. I made you laugh. You watch me when you're in the shower. You watch me when you sleep. So make sure when you go to Tax and Hewitt or RoboTax, Whatever tax lady, make sure you send your $88.88. Make sure you say, Wiley, I'm going to give you $3,000. You better give it. And we're going to thank you for it. So I'm putting that request in now. Turbo tax. When will you get that refund? All right, my bill's paid. Let me send my offering to Wiley. All right. So make sure your bills is paid. Make sure everything good. Make sure you over here donate to the Wiley Show. I need it. So I can travel and entertain and hire staff and get a camera crew and give y'all more content. So yes, they call me Wiley Reed. So sending y'all $69.79. It's 700 people. If 700 people send me uh, eighty dollars and eighty-eight cents. Let me see how much that will be. Woo! How about no, 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 no? Let me get my calculator. Let me get my calculator. All right, then. And JC just came over here. Hallelujah! JC came up in there and gave me ten bucks. Come on! Ah, oh, where my calculator? Okay, it's seven hundred twenty-one times eighty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. All right, that's a good amount. I don't know if that math is good. This is. That's good. Eighty-eight dollars this one. Yes, come on, give. 
All right? I'm going to keep talking about people. That's $64,000. Do it. Okay? $88.88. Be blessed. All right? We want to hit that quota. Right, come on. I got the calculator. That's 64,000. What the hell is it? Hold on. $64,082. Come on. Yeah. Y'all know I'm going to ask for it. We gave you a good show. So make sure. Send it early. Say, Wiley, I got you. And I'm going to ask you. Give. And it shall be given back to you. Knock. And the door shall be open. When somebody give you medicine, every time you tune into the Wiley Show, I give you medicine. Because in the book, in the book, y'all know I know my Bible like that. In the book. Is it in the book? Okay. Is it in the scripture? Is it in the book? <laughs> well, I want to read Proverbs. I don't know if it's in the book, but this scripture going to work. Because <laughs> some of this stuff don't be in the book. But in Proverbs, open your Bibles. Proverbs. 17 chapter and the 22nd verse. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. A joyful heart is good medicine. So every time you tune in and put on your bonnet and put on your pantyhose and put on your girdle and put on your box of brief, for some of y'all don't even wear barefoot butt naked watching me, I'm bringing you joy in your heart. In your heart. So make sure in your heart you bring your wallet, you bring your pocketbook when you get that refund and you give that $88.88. And, and for double y'all that God have blessed you at another level, about five of y'all that want to send $5,000, 10000 do it. Now they're going to get mad. He begging. I'm talking to my audience. I'm talking to my audience. Don't get mad. I'm talking to it. They're going to give. You have not because you ask not. I put my request in. All right. $88.88. Thank you. All right. So, thank you. Wow. Thank you, producers. All about y'all. All right. They said, man, hey, what you say, Wally? Here you go. Hoosh, hoosh. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, things have changed since Wiley quit. Yes, things have changed. Do you talk to your pastor when your pastor get up in a, with a man rob God? You right there in your pink hat giving to your pastor, Bishop so-and-so. But Bishop so-and-so don't make you laugh like Brother Wiley. You watching me more than you watch Bishop so-and-so, Dr. so-and-so, Prophetess so-and-so. And every day you go to church, you have to give. And they'll get up with a man rob God. And they living well. Don't come here and try to discourage people from giving into a good seed, a good foundation. If you ain't got it, just stay silent. And we're going to pray for you that God give you to it. All right? If you ain't got to say, well, I ain't got, we have to put you in the press, sir. Put you in my fast. 
Work on your resume so you get you a better job. Work on your business, get you a business so you get you a loan. Come on. Well, okay. Well, thank you. Somebody said, I got it and I'm keeping it. But you keep it because I want you to give it a, be a joyful giver. No one acts forcing you joyful. And do it joyfully. And people have already done it. So do it joyfully. God bless you. All right? Do it joyfully. And you're still laughing, bringing you joy. Thank you so very much. Little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you enough. Always remember to put God first. Always remember that. Hug yourself right now. You Nobody hugged you and said, I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. Some of y'all, you've never been told that you're black and beautiful. You're black and beautiful. My white brother and sister, you're white and beautiful. My Mexican, Mexican and beautiful, Asian and beautiful. All people. Listen, you are beautiful. And thank you for your massive support. Thank you to those that already committed that they're going to give to the Wiley Show. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Shout out to my team, to my mentors, to their amazing help that's in the bushes, black and beautiful. Shout out to a brother who reached out to me today. And he said, brother, I love your show. I've been watching your show. I've been knowing him for years. I met him when he was over there on All About the Tea panel. And Q was on there. I said, Q, you're in a relationship? Attractive. Attractive. Q was on there. I said, are you single? Good look, intelligent. He taught, he, I never met a black man that loved plants unless they smoking it. He developed plants. He's a graphic designer. God going to bless your business. And out of nowhere, he said, I've been watching your show. I've been enjoying your show. I speak blessings to that business that you have 3,000 clients to your business. And receive that. You need to praise God in front of them plants. Thank you. I don't know if he want me to say his name, but he fell in my spirit. I saw his comment. Sometimes I can't say everybody name. Everybody can't handle that type of attention. But I believe Brother Q can handle it because he was on the con. He he was on the platform, and uh, good guy. He would love. To, he could be on two men. I'm gonna shout out two men, a lady, talented. Thank you. Hit the like button. Good God Almighty, y'all don't hit the like button? We should have a thousand likes. Lord, send me some people that you ain't got to rush in bed that they give automatically. Hit the like button, give. Send me another group to add on to this group, give us. Every time I show up that the likes is at 5,000 likes. 80,000 super chats. Okay? Send me a group. Anything I ask for, they just give it. Sir, what, how much do you need, Brother Wiley? Here you go. I don't need people that say they ain't got it and all that broke. I need rich people in my life. I talk to broke folks enough. I encourage and pray for and profit all their life. But God, send me some rich, wealthy people. Brother Wiley, this is brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so. We want to invest $3 million in your company. All right? I want to sit at a table with billionaires. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Billionaires, you don't see on the red carpet. Old money. And they drop a seed of an idea to take me to the next level. I'm in Texas. They say you in here with that old money. So let me sit around people with that old money and I'm at the table. And they drop something, a brother or a sister. Say, brother, I got an idea. I know this brother. He's a producer. We want you on this show. It's going to happen for me. I'm in Texas. There's a lot of old money here in Texas. A lot of old land, Texas money. Everything like that. Thank y'all so very much. Little black boy, you're beautiful. I've said it all. I'm manifesting there because we want to go above YouTube. I love YouTube, but I want to do other stuff. Be on a stage and do a musical. I want to be the very best that no one ever know. To catch me out in the mess and leave it everywhere. Pokemon. Gotta catch him out if you see. You know, I wanna do, I wanna do, I wanna do our uh, uh, musicals. I wanna do a musical. A chair is still a chair, even when there's no one sitting there. Uh -huh. It's still a home, and oh, it's still a room, and there's no one there, and yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to play Luther Vandross. I can be down low like Luther. All right. <laughs> and y'all so worried about that. gonna say, he taking his medicine. He manic. I'm good. I'm just talented. I am one of the best faces in my life mentally. And if it ever gets a decline, I would submit myself to a mental institution and get the help that I need. I am good mentally. I, I just got my, my refill, my medication. I, I'm good. I'm complying with my doctor's appointment. I'm losing the weight. I am good. The voices, I'm not hearing the voices like I used to. I am good. I, no, 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 no. I have always been there. I got a lot more work to do, but I'm in a good space, and I thank God for that. All right? Thank you. Oh, this is a good show. I don't want to end it. <clears throat> Hello from the other side. I think I'll cross a thousand miles to see you. Okay, I, don't, I, gotta, I gotta practice with my music. I gotta learn the lyric. I learn the lyric. <laughs> Thank y'all so very much. Okay, this was great. I, I, I did not expect to do it. I'm hungry. Because I didn't eat none all day. I was walking. And my thing is this. I got to stop putting my head down when I talk to white people. Uh-oh. Did I say that? And I don't know. Is it? I said, why am I putting my head down? I said, you know what? I got to put my head up. And so now I put my head and look at them eye to eye now. I had to catch myself. I said, why am I headed down? I'm not living in the 1960s. Why will you cross the come to me and say I walk across the street with my head down? This ain't 1955. Hold your head up high and look at him. I put my I had my head down. Head all down. How you doing? How you doing? Head down. I don't know. Uh, LK. I just love the time I'm limping. I'm hurting. I had it bow head down. So today I looked at a white woman and beautiful. How you doing? And she smiled, smiled at her. I like talking to her. I talked to my neighbor. How you doing? I looked at him face to face, face to face, talk. Do you want to go out for drinks? No, I, I like my body. I don't want to be fried in no frying pan or boiling up in no pot. So I don't know if I'm gonna go to 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 to, to, to drink no drinks with you in your apartment. Now I don't mind going somewhere public, 
Now, I'm not going to be cooped up in that apartment and you got me locked up in that room and you boiling me. And then one of my Mexican neighbors, I think I think I I think I can smell that body. I can smell that body boiling. And it's like, ah, they're going to have me on no documentary. No, let's give me Jeffrey Dahlman and all that. He's talking to me all that. And it looks like every time I come out, he he out there looking at me and talking. I don't understand that. A little bit too nice, a little bit too nice. Just say hello, hello, hi. You ain't got to find me for no drink. What you want to go, go to drinks for? No. If I got all this meat on me, good Wally suit. Thick thighs, thick. <laughs> so I don't know if that man is. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that man is. I don't know. But my spirit, he look like it. <laughs> And that man probably ain't Jeffrey Dunn. <laughs> he just want to talk to Wiley. I love him. <laughs> I love my neighbor. The ones that talk to me. The ones that, that can understand my language. Uh, and I love the fact. I mean, hola, como estas? It's like I'm learning a little bit of Spanish. All right? We want to be bilingual. Uh, can you say make a Pokemon song? Yes, make a Pokemon song. I love Pokemon. Thick thighs say lies. Not Jeffrey Dunn. But Jeffrey. <laughs> so... Yeah, he's a good looking white guy. But Jeff, you know, I was a good looking white guy, the one that played him. So I gotta be careful. He's good looking. Never know. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna talk to him some more, and I ain't going to his house unless I'm going with my group of, of FOI brothers with Bing Pies. <laughs> I ain't going there alone. I'm not gonna be in an apartment alone with him. Absolutely not. <laughs> and unless I'm going with my black brothers from the NOI. With bow ties and bean pies and final call newspapers. I ain't going there by myself. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You ain't going to see me cut in that apartment. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. So I watch it. Thank you. Thank you, Regina. The Regina Show. Good show. Regina was one of my first uh, sponsors. Regina, if you want to come back and sponsor two men and the lady, send me an email, Regina Show, and call me. You in Houston, call me uh, tomorrow. At 972-674-9462. Make sure you call me because um you uh you was one of my first sponsors of the Wiley Show when I was at 5,000 subscribers. So if you want to come back and support the Wiley Show, we had a greater position now. Make sure you uh definitely uh sit, keep keep it coming. Add some more zeros. Uh Wiley, would you be on with uh, you know? Absolutely not. But no, I see some good looking Asian man at that gym. It was one. Oh my God. And I and this is so ignorant of me. I was in the gym, man of my business. I said, Are you Asian? He said, Yeah. I said, you don't talk like an Asian. He said, How do Asian supposed to talk? He he hon he hon. You know, I didn't know. And so good looking. And every time I go in the gym, we talk. I got his number. Uh every time he hit the weights, he had hit the weight. I just want to be in his place. He smell good, teeth white knowledgeable he talking about physics and uh history whatever he talking about i'm looking at them thighs <laughs> good good run roast back there good looking got good looking so i said he in the gym like this is the way i'm in there hitting the way i just want to look at i just want this sweat to drip on my body so uh yeah this how it is, uh, and we talk, and uh, he teaches me how to have the chopsticks and stuff. Yeah. So he good looking. So I'm I'm broadening my horizon. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you so very much. I, he talked regular. Like me, you know, uh, American asset. You know, thank you, K Dream, so that three dollar super sticker. Thank you, sis or brother. Thank you, thank you. You know, and it's a nice Asian woman. I would like, you know, I would love a mixed child, uh, or not. It could be a black child. I, I don't know. Probably, keep people keep saying you you probably gonna be a father soon. I don't know. If it is, I will definitely bring it to y'all. That would be a good look for me being a father. Take my son or daughter to baseball, basketball, and my children, automatically, they're going to work. As soon as they come out of the womb, they're going to have tutors. They're going to have a staff. I'm going to invest in my children's education. Piano lessons, they're going to be very active children. Computers, developing apps, 
uh, graphic designers, so they will always have a skill set. So if I do have a baby, I will let y'all know. I probably would know in about a couple of weeks if I get that phone call and I will let them know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wally Junior. I would love that. I ain't gonna be thinking about no pain. It's <laughs> a wrap. Avatar in the I'm being women only. And I'm gonna settle now. So I could be on welfare. <laughs> I could be on welfare. Uh Wally Jr., we're going live. They're gonna be making thumbnails, camera crew, everything. So they're gonna be busy. My children are going to be busy. You come to my house, busy. They're going to be knowing how to do lights, develop, writers, directors. They're going to be, my kids going to be trained to be in, to be rich. They come in the room, in, out in, in the house, all about wealth building. If, if, if I don't break the gap of poverty in my generation, it damn sure will be broken with my uh, 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 seed when my children will be broken in that generation, but it will be broken, and I will be alive to receive the receipts and to live on the fruits of my labor. Okay, yes, I will be committed to the children, mother, if that decide. Absolutely. Well, I think I think you secretly want her to be pregnant. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh man uh, <laughs> I want a baby I'm breaking that generational curse it's going to be broken next thing you see oh here come the Wileys come on Mr. Wiley this is my son he's in Howard University Mr. Mr. Wiley, I, I see right now you're worth $452 billion. What are you going to continue to do? Continue to be billionaires. I want to be a trillionaire and, uh, and talking and producing black wealth. You see my family, black wealth. We show up, we come to church with our head, hair, how black wealth. Chest out, black wealth. Black designer head to toe. Black designers. Black wealth. I'm like, good God, look at this black wealth. I said, you come to Inglewood? They're going to say, that's Wiley neighborhood. I own 15 blocks. Anyway. Ah. Uh, Thank you, Rose, Shelly, the Rebel. Thank you for the one that was that. This is the Wiley Block. I know the officers. I picked the officers in my neighborhood. That's how much wealth I have. I got the governor on speed dial, the mayor on speed dial, the president on speed dial, Congress on speed dial, Senate on speed That's the type of power my family is going to have. When people want to run for office, they have to come visit my estate. They're going to have to come and visit me. Mr. Wiley, I want to run for the third district, and we really need your support. What is your agenda for black people? How are you going to help make us go to the next level? You want my support. All right, gonna happen. I see the vision. I see it. Thank you, Lord. That's a scripture about a vision. Hold on. I want to read a scripture is in my mind. Shout out to Google. Luke 
Then quotes our verse from Joel in the Acts. Let's go to Acts, the second chapter in the 17th verse. In the last days, read, God says, read, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Read, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Read, your young men will see visions. Read, your old men will dream dreams. Read that again. Your young men will see visions. That's in the scripture. But perhaps I'm talking vision talk. I'm young and I have a vision. It may be a little cock out and cross, but I see it. <laughs> I see the vision. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> oh, man, in the book. <laughs> Turn your Google. Turn your Google to the book. <laughs> oh, glory, hallelujah. We in the olden times, you got the internet. Instant speed. Thank you so very much for that. It's in the book. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Wait a minute, is B. Scott in here? Oh, no, that's S. Scott. Hey, S. Scott. <laughs> I thought that was B. Scott. <laughs> it's B. Scott. <laughs> I thought that was B. Scott. Hey, love muffins. I thought that was B. Scott. That's Escott. Thank you, brother. Um, as in the book. Thank you so very much. Uh, we're done. We've been on here for two hours and 32 minutes. This was a great episode in here. All right. Wiley is weird. You don't understand my vision. So my vision is weird to you because you don't have a vision. Maybe you don't have a dream or a purpose. So my type of vision, you can't digest it. But I have a vision. She said, wired, Wally is weird. Did she say wired or weird? Did she say weird or wired? Anyway. Thank you so very much. Weird is not, why is not weird. Okay, I don't know how to read. She said why. All right. Anyway, <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> be <laughs> be set the <laughs> y'all messed up my whole my whole set survey. Be <clears throat> be set the video coming soon in a couple of days. I'm doing a be set the video. All right, we doing a be set the news in a couple of days. Been kind of dry. Uh, so over the days we definitely would do it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so very much. And shout out to the people, to my staff for bringing me water.
I was thirsty and I'm hungry. Thirsty and hungry. Not hungry just for food, but for success. <laughs> he drank his juice like, oh, he drank his juice like that. Ah! I demolished that water. Thank you so very much. Woo! Water is good for the soul. Water is good. Drink water. Bathe in water. I was in the shower today and I was putting the body wash and I follow a brother and I follow him I follow him religiously and he told me to get <laughs> in this video manscaped so I'll get some manscaped to trim and it was something else he was rolling on his face getting that he's a dark skinned guy went to prison he is a trainer most of y'all follow him on Facebook on Instagram on TikTok <clears throat> he get relationship advice and most of that advice got me some, okay? It worked, all right? And uh, I learned a lot of my skill set from that brother. And so I look up to him. Keep my apartment clean. So before I washed the apartment, was dirty. Uh, What's his name? Let me see if I can find him. Uh, I may don't want y'all to know because y'all going to probably be in his DM. So I'm, <laughs> child, let me see if I can find him. I got his page. And uh, it's a good... I don't know if I can find his page. His name is T R E L L Terrell the Trainer. T R E L L the Trainer. And he gives good advice. Keep the apartment clean. I get on one knee and use the restroom. Like he get on one knee, use the restroom. I read a book. He said, get a routine. I get a shut up. I get a routine. He say, get a routine. And then he said, get on one knee and use the toilet and clean, scrub, and change your sheets every three, four days. And I get on one knee and I use it and I get on up. How about na? He was in prison. So, <laughs> and uh, it keeps it clean. All right. Because, uh, you know, some people, when they use it standing up, it splashes that way. You get more control when you're on one knee. <clears throat> it works because uh, he was in prison. So I get on one knee because before then, man, by the time I go to that restroom, <laughs> It spray everywhere like a fire extinguisher. So most of the time I get on one knee or I sit. I can't stand. Man, most of the time I come, it spray everywhere. <laughs> my housekeeper had to come. It was everywhere. She said, oh my God. <laughs> she was speaking to the people as bad as I got. To <laughs> it was everywhere. You did your money work. <laughs> get the scrub it. Spray it everywhere. So I, I make sure I sit. <laughs> I make I make sure I sit and get on one day. Okay, Q, you know that because in the morning it rises like a rock, and I go there and it swoosh like a fire extinguisher. I aim, but. It's swoosh. I'm excited. Uh, stop playing with uh, sis or brat. You can't tell me my relationship with God. I gave you a scripture. I have a vision. That ain't playing. That's my life. This is my story. This is my song. I'm praising my Savior all the 
day long, you can't tell me my relationship with God. You were there when God spared my life. So every time it's hallelujah, glory to God. You don't know my relationship with God. You don't know when I came to Dallas, Texas with one little bag of clothes, one little bag of clothes, came here, was put out on the street in Chicago, had two orders of protection, and I came to Dallas broke, broken, one bag of clothes, came there with that one bag of clothes and came here with nothing. and came here with nothing and now god have blessed me i got a full closet a washing machine and dryer full with clothes and the people and the saints used to say god will give you much when you will have room to receive it That's the type of bless God would do. I looked in that closet, clothes everywhere. It just came out. Because in the sanctified church, they be spit. You, 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 you're purging, you spit. I've seen people slide everywhere. All right? So... I thank God for every day I quote a scripture. Every day I'm going to quote Psalms 40 and 1. I waited patiently un unto the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. So I will continue to bring, put God first. Thank you so very much. So you can go ahead with that. Thank you so very much for y'all support. Sisters and brothers. Thank you. I'm ready to go to that next level. Wally, I think it's bedtime. I'm going to go to bed and sleep. I'm going to eat me some though. But I'm hungry. Oh, yes, I'm hungry. I ain't ordering out because my food was supposed to get here and they delivered it to the wrong door. So it's a sign for me hitting that air fryer again and putting some, some chicken drumsticks or some wings. Eat that and be done. Thank you. Thank you for the support. And I got fruit and vegetables, so I'm good. <laughs> Thank you all so very much uh, for that. Uh, make sure y'all vote. This was a good show. Thank you. All right. This was a good show. I support that. I No, I, the air fryer, like, I still do that sometimes. Just to eat something. Like I put tilapia in there. You know, it just, I've been losing weight. So I put in and eat vegetables in there uh, as well. I do it. Like sometimes I put an air fryer. I've never used my stove yet. So I'm going to be start doing the baking stuff in my stove. Never use it. Hopefully the stove work. Um, so I'm going to be start doing that uh, as well. Okay. Um, no, my order, <laughs> they delivered that to the wrong door. Okay. So uh, I love the air fryer. It's good. It's convenient. And I've been losing weight and I'm on the diet. I pull back on the sugary drinks. I don't drink as much as I used to. I pull back. On, I don't drink Red Bulls anymore. That's off my That's off my diet. I pull back on the coffee. I don't drink coffee. That's off my diet. Every once in a while, I might drink some orange juice or some apple juice just to have something to sweet or I have an orange or apple and I exercise every single day. Every single day I exercise and I thank you for your all support and you all will see me slim and I wear this shirt and this shirt is not a 3X, it's like a 2X and it, it's, it's so comfortable. 
It ain't that tight around me like it used to be. All right. Thank you so very much. Love you. Any more? That was it. All right. Thank you so very much. Um, so we uh, will be on uh, a show tomorrow. Once I get the information, I will share with my um, station and audience. So y'all go over there and support. Uh, we'll be over there tomorrow night at 7 p.m., which is Friday, okay? 7 p.m. Friday. And they will be on the show. I will be on their show. Uh, my sister, uh, once again, information, we will make that announcement uh, before showtime. So make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'll be on, we, we're scheduled to do a show for that. Thank you all so very much. Uh, you said stay your head, please. I yeah, let me do station. <laughs> really? Uh, let me put some of this air fryer and then I can talk to y'all a little bit. Okay. Hey, the lawyer in the house. I'm gonna need you if you're a real lawyer. You know, I'm gonna need your help. So you can donate some of your legal services to us. Um, yeah, so if I do go live on Station Head, you guys, all you have to do is subscribe to Station Head and follow us over there. Because they share, do notify you every time you go live. Next week, we'll be on Twitch. So make sure you follow me on the Wiley Show TV on Twitch. We're going to be doing some Twitch lives over there on Twitch. And that's the Wiley Show TV. I am not known over there on Twitch like that. Like right now, uh, we have about how many followers we have on Twitch. Uh, and I will let y'all know when we go live on Twitch. Um, we have share modes constant. What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay, and how many people watching me? One person watching me on Twitch. Okay, so we have 98 followers on Twitch. We have 98 followers on Twitch. So we want that to be at 300 followers by next week. So make sure you all follow us on Twitch. I'm learning that Twitch stuff. So make sure you all follow me over there on Twitch, okay? Uh, we got some ideas that we're doing on Twitch. So thank you. And I can't wait to see y'all over there on Twitch, okay? Yes, while we live on, yes, we live on Twitch. Thank you, D. Uh, so we, we're going to be doing some Twitch lives only. Uh, over there, we got some ideas that we're going to do over there on Twitch. So make sure y'all follow us <clears throat> on the Wiley Show TV uh, on Twitch because uh, we're going to be doing some stuff over there on Twitch. I want to build that audience over there on Twitch um, as well. I'm still doing YouTube. And also, we did a YouTube short. We got another YouTube short coming. Uh, so we better be doing that. Thank you uh, for your support uh, for coming through. Let me see. That was it. I think that's all announcements. Thank you. All right. Okay. This was two hours and 47 minutes. Entertaining as always. Please keep the conversation going in the chat. Love y'all so very much. I am the Canadian lawyer, bro, but I love you. Oh, you're a Canadian lawyer. Okay. I love your show. I, I, you know, I got to visit Canada. I love Canada. Uh, so make sure y'all send me some tea over there in Canada, some crime stories over there in Canada. Send it to me, uh, the holistic attorney, uh, you know, some tea over there in Canada. Okay, uh, thank you all so very much. Over there on in Canada. On Canada. I need to learn the uh, the, the, the Canadian uh, national anthem. Because I need to learn that. Hold on, somebody asked for me to... Uh... All right, give me a second here. Somebody wanted to see my interviews. I want to know where was that couple? Guys, do y'all know that couple? Oh, this is the couple I want them to see. Okay. No, 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 I got it. Thank you. And there was another video that I want them to see. A potential guest that was that and it was another couple uh what was the name of that video uh okay there's another couple that i want to see 
Okay, and those are enough. And if they need some more videos, I will send it to her. All right. Uh, thank y'all. Love y'all. Peace and blessings to you all. We live on over there. Uh, we're born over here while y'all America's lit MS. Are y'all born over there? Okay. Uh, thank y'all so very much. Peace and blessings to y'all all. And we will see y'all in the next episode. Thank y'all. Y'all be lit, lit. Peace.